Damn, look what I got on my report card. Oh. You got one A minus and the rest A pluses. I thought I raised you better! You should have studied harder! Look what I got on my report card. Who are you? Your son? Oh yeah. What'd you get? I got all A pluses. Oh. Cool. Mommy, look what I got on my report card. Good job, honey. I'm so proud of you. You passed one class. Let's go for dinner to celebrate. How are the first few bites tasting, sir? Very good. That's good to hear. Is there anything I can help you with right now? Um, I think I'm good for now. Okay, enjoy. Actually, wait. sir all right sir so my first question for you is can you just tell me a little bit about your background yeah of course so um my background is actually of mount everest <laughs> that's it i'm breaking up with you you're way too addicted to gambling what eh you know what it doesn't matter i bet i can win you back <laughs> honey did you eat the pizza that i was saving in the fridge no i ate it in the living room Dad, I was just wondering if you could possibly come play catch with me outside for a little bit. Yes, that's the one. Sorry, son. Maybe another time. No. I would love to. I'm just really busy right now. Hello? Hey, I uh, have a package for Luke. Oh, yeah, that's me. Now before we move on, does anyone have any questions about anything we just went over? Yeah, I do. Can you just go over that final step one more time, please? Oh my gosh, were you not just listening? That's literally the last thing I went over. How do you have a question about that and nothing else? Oh, don't mind me. Just pretend like I'm not here. I just want to listen in for a little bit. Oh, yeah, of course. So, uh, as, as I was saying, yeah, I could definitely go over that one more time for you. So. Okay, class, now I want you guys to discuss your answer with the person beside you. So, uh, wh what'd you get? Do you even know how to do this question? No. Me neither. Dad, what does this say? Um, empty? Now what does it say? Empty. M-T. M-T. Empty. <laughs> Mommy, come look at me. <laughs> Stop jumping on the bed. You're going to break it. Get off the couch. It's for sitting on, not standing on. Oh, I'm hungry. Mom, when are you going grocery shopping next? We're all out of food. Uh, excuse me. Don't talk to me in that tone. And what are you talking about? We have plenty of food.
Day 15 in Costa Rica. As soon as I woke up, I enjoyed the warm weather and view from our Airbnb since we're going back to the freezing cold on Wednesday. Here's a quick tour of it. We've got the kitchen, the dining table, the living room, the view through the whole place. Then upstairs, there's three more master bedrooms, all with beautiful views. In the morning, I had a protein bar for breakfast and just relaxed. I also hopped in the pool for a bit. Then for lunch, we went to our favorite spot that we've gone the past three days. After that, we hopped on this fishing boat that we had booked and got destroyed by some waves for a couple hours and got soaking wet. We were out there for five Five hours and caught zero fish but hey at least we got to see the sunset we then got ready for dinner and ate at this fish market that we hadn't gone to before after we went back to our airbnb and i watched my favorite youtuber for a few minutes before heading to bed for our final day in costa rica Mom, can I? No. I was just asking if I could. No. Hear me out, Mom. I just want. No. <sighs> no. Fine. Hey, didn't I ask you to clean the house today? Well, I tried asking you if you wanted me to clean the dishes, but you said no. Then I tried asking if you wanted me to back in the house, but you said no again. I even considered doing your laundry, but you just kept saying no. Oh. Can I please? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay. Thanks. I'm going out with my friends. I'll be back at 1 a.m. Uh, excuse me, where's my table? Hi miss, uh, what's the name on the reservation? I don't need a reservation, I know the owner. I'm sorry, but we can't seat you unless you have a reservation. Are you serious? You're the worst waiter I've ever met, just let me in. I'm sorry, but I can't. You either have to wait two hours or make a reservation for another night. You know what, you're gonna regret this. I'm gonna show you that I know the owner. Hello? Hi sweetie, I need you to call the owner right now please. Okay. Hello? I want to break up with you. What? Why? Because I want someone who's strong, tall, and handsome, which isn't you. You're short, skinny, and nerdy. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry to bother you. I just think you're really handsome. Can I get your phone number? No thanks. What? Why not? Don't you remember? I missed your short, skinny, and nerdy. Yeah, drinking dope, turn me to a superhero, yeah. Ah, this is so annoying. What's with all the yelling in here? I'm trying to find a song that's been stuck in my head all day, and I searched up literally everything, but I can't find it. How does the song go? It goes like this. Yeah, 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 I know that one. You have? Do you know the name, or who, who sings it? Unfortunately, I don't. What'd you search up? Here's what I searched. I have a feeling that you are cheating on the test. What? Prove it. Well, the first question was who was the first president of the United States? The girl beside you put George Washington, and so did you. So? Everyone knows he was the first president. Just wait a minute. The next question was who freed the slaves? The girl beside you put Abraham Lincoln, and so did you. Well, I read the textbook last night, and I remembered that. The next question was who was the president during the Louisiana Purchase? She put I don't know, and you put me neither. Do! <laughs> I'm afraid you only have two weeks to live. What? No, that can't be true. Everyone get on the ground! This is a robbery! Now give me all your money! Okay, okay! Here, just please don't hurt me! Don't move! You're under arrest for armed robbery! I hereby sentence you to 20 years in prison. Yes! Hello? Hi honey, it's me. Are you still at the golf course? Yeah. Why? Well, I'm at the mall and I found a leather coat. It's only a thousand dollars. Can I get it? Sure. Go ahead if you really like it. Oh, and I stopped by the Mercedes dealership and I saw one that I really liked. How much is it? 98,000. Okay, but for that price, make sure it comes with all the options. Yes! Oh, and one more thing. That house that I really wanted last year is back on the market for 980,000. Well then offer them $900,000 and they'll probably take it, but if they don't, offer an extra $50,000 if you think it's a good price. Okay, I'll see you later. I love you so much. You're worth it. Bye. Does anybody know whose phone this is? Ah, oh, what a mess. <laughs> Come on.
Come on, what's taking her so long? That's it. I give up. Perfect. Oh, hey Luke. Hey, I'm home from work. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten those beans. Hey honey, I have a surprise for dinner tonight. Can you put this blindfold on? Sure. Okay, now I'm gonna guide you to take a seat in the living room. Okay. <sighs> Just one second, I gotta take this. Don't peek, I'll be right back. Don't worry, I won't. <coughs> oh. oh, my stomach. Oh, I really shouldn't have eaten those beans. <coughs> okay, honey, I'm back. Did you take a peek? Nope. Okay, you can take it off now. that garbage up. Mom, look at my palace. Oh yes, it's very nice, sweetie. What have you done? It's not that big of a deal, Mom. I'll clean it up. Mom, do you think you could buy me a better folder to put my schoolwork in? This one's kind of falling apart. Well, it looks perfectly fine to me, but I'll go take a look to see if I have any old ones I could give to you. Mom, the teacher said today that we need to get something to um, write down notes in class. Hmm, I'm assuming she means like a notebook for you to write stuff down in. Well, you know what? Let's go get a MacBook. Mom, is it okay if two friends come over tonight since it's my birthday? No, I'm about to go to bed and I gotta wake up early, so I don't want a loud house tonight. Hey, Mom, I have a couple thousand people coming over tonight. Can you go get some games for us to play? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Of course. I'll also buy you guys some snacks while I'm at it. Mom, I'm doing my homework and I just have one quick question for you if you don't mind. Can you come over for a couple seconds? No, I'm gonna be busy the rest of the night. I'm sure the answer is in your textbook. Just look harder. Mom, I just opened up my homework and it looks too hard. Here, how about this? If you give me your pencil, I'll let you go play some video games while I do your homework. Luke, I have a riddle for you. What has to be broken before you can use it? What has to be broken before you use it? A glow stick. Nope. Yes, before you use a glow stick, you have to break it, or else it won't work. That is true, but that's not the answer I'm looking for. <sighs> your heart. Uh... Before you can use your heart, it has to be broken by someone first. Nope, that's still not it. <sighs> I don't know, what is it? The answer is an egg. This hotel sucks. Why? What's wrong? Last night, I got no sleep. Every 15 minutes, this loud banging noise woke me up. Oh, I'm so sorry. How was your guys' stay? Terrible! The guy in the room beside us was snoring so loud that we had to bang on the wall every 15 minutes to wake him up. <gasps> uh, Alright sir, I uh, I got your x-ray back. Uh oh, the way you're speaking about it doesn't sound very good. It's exactly what I'm afraid of. Really? What is it? Skeletons. <laughs> no diving! What is your biggest fear? I'm terrified of heights. I avoid all tall buildings and even libraries. Why libraries? Because they have the most stories. Mom, did you change the Wi-Fi password? Oh, yeah I did. The new password is 123456. Okay, thanks. It didn't work. Huh? What did you type? 123456. No, it's 123456. What should we film for our family channel? Um, how about the say yes for 24 hours challenge? And what exactly is that? Basically, you just have to say yes to every single question I ask you in the next 24 hours. Okay, that could be a pretty entertaining video. Are you ready? Yup, in three, two, one. What's going on guys? It's the Davidson family and in today's video, we're doing the say yes challenge. Luke, what's your first question? Can you buy me a Lamborghini? Um, you can't say no, I, I, I guess not, um, yeah, let's go! I'm 
I'm hungry. Can we go get snacks? Yeah, you can go get some. I'm not hungry right now. <laughs> Me? Go get them? Yeah, just go into my pantry. My parents won't care. Um, you know what, actually, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really hungry anymore. <sighs> Are you sure you're not hungry? Nope. <sighs> I gotta go get something. Day 5 in Costa Rica vlog. The first thing I did when I woke up is enjoyed the nice view of the ocean before heading down to have some breakfast. Today I had an omelette and hash browns, then we headed back to the room to get ready for jet skiing. This was probably my favorite thing we've done this trip, especially doing donuts on them. After this we had a short rest and hopped on some ATVs for a ride through the jungle. We stopped at this town and explored for a little before heading back and unfortunately I wasn't able to get any footage of the ATVs. But here's what I looked like after from all the dust sticking onto my sunscreen. After this we had supper and of course I forgot to record that as well. But then we ended off the night by going to the neon party that the resort has every other week. Honey, I love you so much. Aww, I love you too. One day, I'm gonna make you mine. And I can't wait for that day to happen. Remember a few years ago? I told you we were gonna do this. <sighs> yeah. Mom, where's all my white socks? They should be where they usually are. Well, they're not here. Well, what makes you think I know where they are? Because you did the laundry, and now they're not here. You know what? If you're gonna talk to me like that, you're doing your laundry from now on. <sighs> Son, are you almost ready to leave? Yeah, in a couple seconds. I just need to find some... Wait a second. Where'd you get those socks? Oh, these? I don't know. Your mother just put them in my drawer. Hmm... 2 plus 3 equals 5. Does it? <sighs> Let me just make sure. 2 plus 3 equals... Yeah, 5. Wait, let me, let me just make sure one more time. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Okay. Hey, can you do the dishes, please? All of them? Yes, all the dishes. But all I did is put one cup in. Don't make me ask you again. Okay, okay, fine. Hey, who are you? I'm your son. Get out of my house before I call the cops! Let me take that from you, honey. Is there anything else I can do? Can you make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Coming right up. Hey man, are you busy right now? Uh, kind of. Why? Well, I have something really important to tell you. What are you doing? I'm watching a live stream. Do you mind calling me back when it's over? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Luke, do you want some chips for the movie? No thanks, I'm good. I'm trying to eat healthy. Okay. Ah, just wait, I gotta go to the bathroom first. Hey, are you that guy that everyone's been talking about who can only hear every second word? What? Oh, um... R, R, U, U, the, the, guy, guy, that, that, can, can, only, only, hear, hear, every, every, second, second, word, word. Every second word, 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 every second word. What comes once a year, twice in a month, four times in a week, and six times in a day. Do you know the answer? Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> Let's try this again. Hi. 
Hi sir, how can I help you today? I purchased this the other day, but I kind of need the money, so I'd like to return it. I totally understand. Do you have the receipt? Unfortunately, I thought I was going to keep it, so I threw it out. Oh, well then I can't give you a refund. I need the receipt. But it's brand new. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm sorry, sir. It doesn't matter unless you give me the receipt. Come on, man. Please? If you want, you can try client services on the second floor. <sighs> Fine. Can I at least get a bag? Yes, of course. Here you go. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Is this bike for sale? Yes, it is. Would you like to purchase it? Mm, what's the lowest you'll go? What's the lowest I'll go? <sighs> Probably like two miles per hour. Anything slower and you'll tip over. <sighs> what time is it? Is everything all right? <gasps> Whoa, where are we? We're in Costa Rica, baby. Hey Luke, I'm going to the store. Do you want to come with me? No, I'm watching Netflix right now. Are you sure you don't want to go for a drive with your mother? Yeah, a new season of a show I really like just came out. Okay, I guess I'll go by myself. You know, when you move out, we'll never be able to do this again. I know, Mom. I'll go next time. I carry you for nine months and you can't even come with me for 30 minutes? Remember this? What about this one? Or this one? Okay, enough. I'll go. Quick, act natural so they don't think you're stealing. But I'm not stealing. I know, but they're gonna think you are because you're not buying anything. Yes! I got you! Ditch! <laughs> Ditch! <laughs> Come here! I'm gonna get you, you little puck! <laughs> Did I hear what I think I heard? Oh, uh, hi Dad. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm playing hockey and I was going in to get the puck. What about the first word? I don't understand how people can do TikTok for a living. I know, right? Like it literally takes 15 seconds to record a video. Well, actually, it could take some people multiple hours because they need to make a script, then film it, and then edit it on a computer. <laughs> 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 All right, first question. Are you the killer? No. Are you sure? Yes. Killer say what? What? Ha! We got him! Guilty! Hi, can I get one ticket for the movie, please? Yeah, of course. Which one? Oh, the movie. Okay, are you being dumb on purpose? No? Then which movie do you want to watch? The movie! The one right there! I asked you which one you wanted to see. This one? Or this one? The movie too. Are you being dumb on purpose? You know what, honey? I'm not actually feeling that well. I have a bit of a headache. Oh, really? I think I might know why. Why do you think? It's because you're always on your phone. <laughs> Whoever gets this next question right gets a candy. What's 11 plus 11? <gasps> 22! Hey, Mom. Can you help me with my homework, please? 
I can't right now. I'm doing the dishes. Just pause it. Is this Emily? I have a boyfriend. I found your purse at Starbucks and it had your number on it, so I thought I'd let you know. Oh my goodness, where can I meet you to pick it up? I have a girlfriend. Why is there a two-year gap on your resume? Oh, I was in jail. Really? For what? For killing the last interviewer who said he'd call me back. Congratulations, you're hired. How are you doing today? Nurse, I'm in love with you. I don't want to get better. Don't worry, you won't. What do you mean? The doctor's in love with me too and he saw you kissing me this morning. <laughs> doctor, I can't sleep at night. I keep seeing donkeys playing soccer. Alright, I'm gonna give you some medicine and I want you to start using it tonight, okay? Can I start tomorrow? Why tomorrow? Because tonight's the finals. <laughs> hey, can you help me load this money into the truck? Yeah, sure. So why'd you need my help? Don't other people work here? Well, I'm not actually a bank attendant. I just needed someone to blame. <laughs> Okay class, we're gonna start by sharing our dreams. What's yours, Luke? My dream is to earn a million dollars per year like my dad. Wow, your dad earns that much? No, that's also my dad's dream. <laughs> Officer, I need your help. What is it, ma'am? Yesterday my husband went to the grocery store to buy potatoes, but he hasn't come home yet. Then why don't you cook something else? <laughs> Hey dear, there's a- Stop it. One shall not speak while we're eating. If you say so. Now tell me, what were you saying? Nothing. There's just a cockroach in your burger. <laughs> he made two fat jokes about me yesterday. Pfft, that's a lie. Then why would she remember you making them? Because elephants never forget. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You can take whatever you want. I had a bad day. Okay, thanks. Wait, why are you letting me take things? So I have time to call the police. <laughs> Pay attention! I am paying attention, ma'am. Oh, really? What's the last thing I said? The last thing you said is pay attention. <laughs> Sir, I pulled you over just now because you were driving way too fast. I was just trying to keep up with the traffic. But there isn't any traffic. I know, that's how far behind I am. <laughs> I changed my name on Instagram to no one. Why would you do that? So when I see a dumb post, I could like it, and it'll say no one like this. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? I'm sick of your comments about my weight. I'm leaving you. But what about our child? What child? So you're not pregnant? <laughs> hey, mom, what was that loud noise outside? There's a big storm outside, and it's raining really hard. Can you close all the windows? Yeah, sure. Ma'am, do you know why I pulled you over? No, but I'm in a rush. I understand, ma'am, but I have to ticket anyone over 55. That's discrimination! Ma'am, I meant the speed limit. <laughs> dad, dad, dad! What's wrong? Is it true that an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, that's what they say. Well, give me an apple quick, because I just broke the doctor's window. <laughs> Can you please lower the price tag for the bananas? Yeah, sure. Really? What are you doing? I'm lowering the price tag. <laughs> Tell us why you think you should be released early. It's because- Yes? I think I have- Go on! Can I please finish my sentence? Sure. The court is dismissed. <laughs> hey taxi, how much will it cost for you to drive me to the Super 8? Just $10. And how much for my bag? Oh, you don't have to pay for the bags. Okay, take my bag and I'll meet you there. <laughs> Kaden, you got 55% on the test. <laughs> Which is the highest of everyone in the class. <laughs> I thought that you wanted yesterday afternoon off so you could see your dentist. That's right, sir. So why did I see you coming out of the movie theater with your friend? That was my dentist. <laughs> can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? When I was using can, I was using it as a secondary model from a verbal modifier asking for permission opposed to expressing ability. But I thought since you were a teacher, you would know that. <laughs> If you put your clean laundry on your bed, you'll be motivated to fold it and put it away. Dad, why are you touching the horse's legs and chest like that? Because when I'm buying horses, I have to feel them to make sure they're healthy and in good shape. I think the mailman wants to buy mom. <laughs> How's your meal tasting, sir? Can I speak to the manager, please? Of course, just one moment. I heard you wanted to speak to me? Yeah, I wanted to compliment you on your very clean kitchen. Clean kitchen? Pfft. Have you seen our kitchen? No, but it must be clean because all this food tastes like soap. 
My husband's missing. How long has he been missing for? Since last winter. So why did you wait till spring to report him missing? Because the landscaping company is asking too much to mow the lawn. <laughs> Babe, be careful. I just seen some idiot on the news driving the wrong way down the freeway. It's even worse than that. There's hundreds of them. <laughs> do you know the difference between right and wrong? Yes, I do. All right, if I reached into a man's pocket and took his wallet with all his money, what would I be? You'd be his wife. <laughs> I like your dress. Really? Yeah, and your lipstick looks amazing. Thank you. Your makeup also looks really good. Aw, thanks. But you're still ugly. <laughs> to who do you owe your success as a millionaire? I owe everything to my girlfriend. Wow, she must be a great girl. What were you before she came into your life? A billionaire. <laughs> Are you ready to order, sir? I am, but my wife just went to the bathroom. Do you have any idea what she's having? Well, it's been 10 minutes, so probably a number two. Can I bring this magazine next door to get a photocopy? I need some ID, like a driver's license or a credit card. But my wife's here getting a haircut. Yes, I know, but I'll need something you'll come back for. <laughs> Guess what? Yesterday I found out that 20 piranhas can strip your flesh in just 15 minutes. Really? That's crazy. But unfortunately I lost my job at the swimming pool. <laughs> so, tell me, what are your strengths? I take matters into my own hands. Okay, thank you. We'll contact you in a few days. No, I'll contact you. <laughs> Son, if you study today, I'll buy you a phone. Okay, Dad, I'll go right now. I finished. I lied. Me too. <laughs> I have your son. I don't even have a son. Oh, yeah? Then who just asked me for warm milk and made me cut the crust off his sandwich? Oh, no! You have my husband! <laughs> <laughs> Every time you smile, it makes me want to bring you to my place. Are you single? No, I'm a dentist. <laughs> How did you get that bruise on your arm? Oh, I ate some Halloween candy. But eating Halloween candy won't give you a bruise. It will if it's your big brother's candy. <laughs> Do I know you? I think you're the father of one of my kids. Oh my goodness, are you the lady from the bar? No, I'm your son's teacher. <laughs> Can I ask one question? But you just did. Fine, can I ask two questions? You already did. Okay, can I ask four questions? You just did, again. When? Now. <laughs> can I have a cigarette? I thought you quit smoking. I'm in the process of quitting. Right now I'm in the middle of phase one. What's phase one? I've quit buying. <laughs> Luke, your essay on my dog is the exact same as your sister's. Yeah, and? Did you just copy hers? No, we have the same dog. <laughs> hey, what are you doing right now? Phoning the most beautiful girl in the world. Aw, that's sweet. Yeah, but she's not answering, so I'm phoning you. <laughs> Did you know you're like the sun? Aw, because I brighten up your day? No, because you hurt my eyes whenever I look at you. <laughs> When I was a little girl, I was told if you made an ugly face, it would freeze and you'd be stuck like that. Well, you can't say you weren't warned. Our principal's an idiot. Do you know who I am? No. I'm his daughter. Do you know who I am? No. Good. <laughs> Luke, give me a sentence starting with I. I is... No, always start with I am. Alright, I am the ninth letter of the alphabet. <laughs> Can I get some medications for hiccups, please? Ow! What did you do that for? Well, you don't have hiccups anymore, do you? I never had hiccups. My wife does. <gasps> Bro, I just dropped my phone from the 20th floor. Is it broken? I don't know yet, but good thing I put it on airplane mode. Why are you praying in my class? My mom told me I should pray before sleeping. <gasps> Honey, I started eating turtles the other day. Seriously? Yeah. Why? The doctor told me I shouldn't eat fast food. <laughs> mom, can you buy me a new- No. But mom, just listen. No. But I want a new book. Oh, okay. A MacBook. <laughs> Luke, where's your homework? I'm really sorry, I don't have it here. How come? I ate my worksheets. What? Why would you do such a thing? Because my dog refused to. <laughs> so what's your name? Not guilty. You're not guilty? Thank you very much. Do you think you're smart? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh yeah? Spell it. S-M-A-R-T. I said spell it.
<gasps> what are you doing? I'm playing Monopoly. Why? I'm trying to get the get out of jail free card. <gasps> Is that all you're gonna eat? Yeah, I don't really like anything else here. Well, in that case, would you like two muffins? Really? Yeah, that would be amazing. Okay. <gasps> Can someone give me examples of useless things? Good, any other examples? <gasps> Where do you live? With my parents. Where do they live? With me. Where do you all live? Together. <gasps> Babe, do you think I'm ugly? What? No, why would you say that? Wait, what did I say? Do you think I'm ugly? Yes, I think you're ugly. How did your meal taste, sir? You know what, can I just speak to the manager, please? Yes, of course, I'll go grab him. You wanted to speak with me? Yeah, hi, you must have a really clean kitchen. <sighs> have you seen our kitchen? Because all this food tastes like soap. I've called you like 10 times, why haven't you been answering? I can explain. Then explain. I like my ringtone. <laughs> Mom, I'm really tired. I'm just gonna go have like a 15 minute nap. Jeez, you need to start going to bed earlier. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> what time is it? Oh no, I didn't do my homework. Good morning guys, I didn't finish my homework last night. What? Do you even know what time it is? Now sit down, dinner's almost ready. <sighs> Mom, are you ready to go? I don't want to be late for my first day of school. We can leave in two seconds. I just want to quickly take a picture of you, okay? <sighs> Fine. You know what, can you sit on the chair? Now give me a big smile. That one doesn't look very good. Let me take another. Movie? No, I'm busy right now. Get out of my room. Ah! <laughs> Hello? You're grounded for a month. That means no more electronics. What? Why? Your brother told me what happened to the wall. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong with it. Then send me a picture of the wall beside your TV right now. Okay. Let me quickly download this photo editing app by pressing the button on my profile. Then I'm gonna use the eraser tool to get rid of the damage on the wall. There we go, now let's send that to mom. And one more thing. Connor Fiddlesticks Repairs, how can I help you? Hi, I just need a small area on my wall repaired. Mom, can you help me with my homework? Ah, oh, shoot. I'm sorry, honey, but I'm going out for girls' night. I'm sure your father will help you. Yes, son. What do you need help with? Okay, good luck, you two. I'll see you later. So this question is... is... Uh... Is what? I don't have all night here. It's, it's asking how to solve this. <sighs> That's easy. Give me the pencil. You just gotta carry the A, plus by the B square, do some takeaways, and there's your answer. But that's not how the teacher wants us to do it. What do you mean it's not the answer? It's math. Math is math. That's the answer. Yeah, but you won't get the marks because he didn't show you a word. You know what? Forget it. This new math makes no sense. You're gonna have to wait till your mother gets home.
happened in there? He asked me if I was free tonight, so I said yes. Oh, then why were you upset? Because he gave me 60 pages to type. <laughs> so what are your strengths? I fall in love easily. Okay, and what are your weaknesses? Those blue eyes of yours. <laughs> Did you know Microsoft just bought Skype for over 10 million dollars? Really? They're idiots! Why do you say that? Because they could have downloaded it for free. <laughs> Why is there a four year gap on your resume? Oh, that's when I was in Yale. Oh wow, that's impressive, you're hired. Thank you so much, I really needed this job. <laughs> I love you, I have a boyfriend. I love you, I just need some time alone. I love you. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Babe, do you think I'm pretty or ugly? I'd say both. What do you mean? You're pretty ugly. <laughs> How much do the potatoes cost? Two dollars each. And the bag? The bag's free. Okay, give me the bag. <laughs> Dad, do you know how to write in the dark? I think so. What do you want me to write? Just one second. Can you sign this report card for me? <laughs> How long is the flight from London to New York? Um, just a minute. Thank you, she said a minute. What? Hey Luke, you know why your name starts with an L? Why? Because you're a loser. L for loser. Hey, don't call me that. It makes me feel sad inside and it really hurts my feelings. Oh yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? Hey teacher, he called me a loser. Jesse, can you please say sorry to Luke? Fine. I'm sorry for calling you a loser. I shouldn't have said that. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Do you want to be friends? Yeah, sure. We can be best friends forever. Dad, what's the difference between an Egyptian mummy and my mummy? It's simple, son. When we see an Egyptian mummy, you get scared, but when we see your mummy, I get scared. <laughs> Stop chasing me! I've almost caught ya! Here, take these! Why did you give me scissors? Because you can't run with scissors. <laughs> so how do you want your haircut today? Can I just get a bit off the top? Say no more. Alright, take a look. <laughs> So what brings the two of you here today? It's impossible to live with him. He's too literal. And you? My truck. <laughs> Police, there's a bunch of people following me. Don't worry, I'm coming to save you. Where are you? On Instagram. <laughs> oh yeah, do you guys want to go to a concert with me on Friday night? I have extra tickets and I don't really want to go by myself. Yeah, bro, I'm down. Yeah, I'll go too. That sounds like fun. Awesome, you guys can come to my house and then we could all go there together. Hello, no one is available to take your call at this time. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, I just wanted to discuss some things with you guys about tonight. Uh, can you give me a call when you guys have a second? Thanks. <sighs> what time is it? Oh geez, I gotta get ready. I'm so excited, I can't wait for tonight. Oh. Hello? Hey bro, I'm like really tired right now. I think I'm just gonna stay home tonight. Oh, okay. Um, Dan, are you on this call too? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, hey, what time do you think you're gonna be at my house? Um, I'm actually out of town right now and I won't be able to make it. Babe, what do you think about our love? Count the stars in the sky. Aw, it's infinity? No, it's just a waste of time. <laughs> Hello, no one is available to take your call at this time. Peter, you're supposed to be doing your homework. But I am. I needed to do research for the assignment. Okay, I'll let you continue then. Let me just check to see what he's been searching up. <gasps> Naked mole rats? Turn off your computer right now. What? Why? You're supposed to be doing your homework, not searching up random things. But mole rats are my favorite. I don't care. If I come back in here again and you're still on there, you're grounded. Hey, son. What? You should download this secret app that I've been using. What does it do? It hides your search history. How do you think I've never got caught? Caught doing what? You know, 
Playing video games at work. It also reduces the lag so I have an advantage against the other players. Oh. Yeah, and you can get NordVPN by pressing the button on my profile. I'm funny. I think your parents are funny. My parents? Why? They made a joke 17 years ago and people are still laughing at it. <laughs> Last night a thief broke into my house and stole my TV. Really? What did you do? I ran after him and told him he forgot the remote. <laughs> Hi! Long time no see. How are you? Dad, someone at school keeps calling me fat. Aw, oh, son, don't listen to them. You're bigger than that. <laughs> Mom, I'm a genius. Why do you say that? I finally finished that puzzle I've been working on. Okay, and? It only took me a year, and on the box it says for two to five years. <laughs> I'm just gonna go upstairs to use your bathroom. I'll be right back. Why are you watching TV? My favorite show's playing. Well, they're making money, and what are you doing? Saving jobs. <laughs> What's two flowers plus two flowers? Four flowers? Very good. Now it's 2,563 flowers plus 8,922 flowers. A garden? <laughs> Boss, I'm gonna need a raise, otherwise there's three companies calling me every day. What? Which companies? Water, Electrical, and the Bank. Have you ever wanted to compete for one million unicorns? Well, now you can, because Wipeout is coming to your city. But if I were you, I would start training because you only have three months to prepare. Challenge accepted. After training hard for two and a half months, something devastating happened. After hearing from the doctors that he broke his ankle, he lost all hopes in being able to compete. Two weeks later, he sat down on the couch to watch the event live on TV, but then, the unexpected happened. Due to the bad snowstorms and dangerous driving conditions, the event organizers have decided to move it to a similar online game called Fall Guys because everyone can now play it for free on all platforms. Little did everyone know he had been practicing for the past two weeks. After passing all the courses with ease, he was on to the finals. Only two players remain. Who's gonna win? Oh, 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 and we have a yeah! winner! And that is the story about Unicorn Kyle. Make sure to go check out Fall Guys and play it for free. I'm sick of being cautious. I'ma go cause something. Can't stop this. I'ma steal everybody's lane, call a shoplift. Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless. Taste the pain, it's like candy canes. It makes me go change into a better frame, into a better name. Society's insane. We all live for fame. Yeah. Cash in the bag, city impact. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Do it, no cap. Only God wants you. Better go live it up. Cash in the bag, city impact. Baby, I'm bad. Baby, I'm bad. What are you talking about? They don't equal the same thing. Yes, they do. 10 plus 10 equals 20, and 11 plus 11 equals... 22. <laughs> hey. Hi, Luke. Who is that? Cindy. Oh, yeah. Mom, she's just a friend. 
Just a friend, hey? Aha! Cindy Lachlan. Lachlan, 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 Lachlan! Oh. Hello? Yeah, hi, it's Luke's mom. Who? It's Luke Davidson's mom. Oh, hi. I was wondering if your daughter would like to go on a date with my son sometime. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a wonderful idea. <gasps> we were just at the mall the other day. I don't get why you made me come back again. Oh, hey again, Cindy. Hi, Luke. I set you guys up on a date. Give me all your money, otherwise you'll be chemistry. Don't you mean history? Don't change the subject. <gasps> Hey Luke, what do you think you're doing? Class isn't the place to sleep. If class isn't the place to sleep, then home isn't the place to study. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need. What Are you guys ready to order? Yeah, can I get your guys' famous burger just without the tomatoes, please? You don't like tomatoes? No! I love them! For some reason, I just don't want them on my burger. Mom, look what I got on my math test! Oh my gosh! Did you actually get 100%? No! I got 10%, but my teacher accidentally wrote an extra zero. So, did you come to watch the game? No! I came to do my homework. What time was it? So right here we have a pretty simple question. 4 plus 4 equals 10. Actually miss, that's not the right answer. Huh? 4 plus 4 equals 8, not 10. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I actually did that just to make sure you guys were paying attention. Hello? Hi, I have a pepperoni bacon pizza with red peppers and pineapples. Um, I didn't order a pizza. This must be a mistake. No, it's not. Your neighbor forgot their Instagram password and wanted to share with you what they're having for supper. <gasps> Hi, can I get an M&M McFlurry, please? That will be $3.39. Thank you. Unfortunately, the ice cream machine isn't working. Would you like a refund? No, you can just keep it. Did you buy that vehicle? No, I stole it for the day. I'll see you later, Mom. I'm going to the cinema with my friends. Ooh, you're going to watch a movie? No, we're going to go sit outside the door and listen to it. Mom, you told me we would be quick. Are you almost done? Yes, I just have to grab one more thing in the dairy department, then we can leave. Okay, I'm going to go wait on the chair by the exit. Ah, uh, what's taking her so long? There you are. Why are you in the same spot? <laughs> hey, Luke, do you remember Margaret? The last time I saw you, you were just a little wee baby. <laughs> Hello? Wrong number! <sighs> Hello? Okay, so that's one with cheese and one with pepperoni. You can pick it up in 20 minutes. Who was that? I don't know, but I took his order, so now we can sleep. <laughs> Why aren't you picking up the phone? I always pick it up on the third ring. It makes me seem cooler. Pick it up! Fine. 911, what's your emergency? You need glasses. How do you know? I haven't even told you what's wrong with me yet. I could tell as soon as you walked in through the window. Yeah! I got the
cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up, cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait, that's all fat, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back. It's time to get up and get ready for school. Mom, I don't think I can go to school today. Just suck it up and go get ready, you're gonna make me late for work. But I really don't feel good. Nah, I'm not buying it, I'll be waiting in the car. Mom? What? I'm not feeling very good. And what do you want me to do about it? Can I stay home today? I don't care. You can walk to school, take the bus, stay in bed, whatever. Just leave me alone. <gasps> My little angel! Is everything alright? Yeah. Oh, you don't look very well. Do you want me to get you some soup? Mom, I'm fine. You know what? I'll call the school right now and let them know you won't be in for the rest of the year, okay? Luke, what's the most common sentence used in school? Uh, I don't know. That is correct. <laughs> I made you some cereal for dinner. Hey, what do you say? Oh, uh, thank you, I guess. You guess? No, 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 I, I, I thank you, okay? Thank you. Yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> Where's my food? Did I hear something? Huh. Must have been a bug. Here you go, sweetie. This is disgusting. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. What do you want me to make you? Um, can I have? You know what? Here's some money. Get in the car. We're going to McDonald's. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I got you an iPhone. What? You got me a phone? How did you... Wh where did you get the money to afford this? The same place as last year. Your wallet. <laughs> Luke, can you tell me how many seconds there are in a year? Twelve? Are you sure? Yeah! January 2nd, February 2nd, March 2nd... <gasps> Dad, it's so cold in here. Just go stand in the corner. Why? Because it's 90 degrees. <gasps> I'd like a margarita, please. Okay, I'll need to see your ID. <laughs> you think I look like a teenager? No, I thought you might qualify for our senior discount. <gasps> so why did the police arrest you? For shopping too early. How early were you shopping? Before the store opened. <laughs> Hi Luke, it's your teacher. Can I speak to your parents? Uh, my parents aren't home. Well, could I leave them a message? Sorry, we don't have an answering machine. <laughs> that bully stole my girlfriend's number. Really? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. The idiot's sending romantic messages to his sister. <laughs> what do you want to do tonight? We should go to the zoo. But babe, I'm not ready to meet your family yet. <laughs> We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness, the anxious and panic The infinite vastness of all that is blackness When I look into your eyes, I see something beautiful. Really? What is it? My reflection. <laughs> Do you want to go jump on the trampoline with me? I can't right now. I'm lifting weights. Do you want to go watch a movie with me? Sorry, but I'm already going to watch one with one of my friends. Do you want to go to the park with me? <laughs> Shh, I'm on the phone. Do you want to hang out with me? No. Mommy, can I get these shoes for school? I want you to try them on to make sure they fit first. Okay. Okay, can I get them back? How do they feel? Good, can I get them back? Let me see where your toes are. Go for a walk to make sure you like them. Okay, can I get them now, please? 
How much are they? They're $110. What? I'm only buying you shoes if they're on sale. Son, I have the wrong tool. Can you go to the garage and get the stork beak pliers, please? Okay. What does it look like? It just looks similar to regular pliers. There's too many of them. They all look the same. It should be in a red container. Forget it. You're no help. I'll get it myself. Mom, I'm gonna start the movie. Are you ready? Just wait. I'm getting a drink. <sighs> okay. Are you ready now? Actually, just wait. I better go to the washroom first. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. This movie is based on a true story about Alfred Pickleman as a young boy who... Mom. What? You know I can read, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, I know that actor. He's from the movie with, um, ah, what's your name? I don't know, Mom. Ah, that's gonna bug me. What are you doing? Sorry, I was just getting a snack. What did I miss? Here, I'll just go back. No, 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 just tell me. The guy basically just drove back to his house after getting the phone call. Oh my gosh. I wonder if someone's gonna be waiting there for him. I was not expecting that. Were you? Breaking news, the Knockout Battle Royale game called Fall Guys just released their new season today. If you think you have what it takes to be the last one standing, then you can play it now for free on all platforms. Finally, something fun to do. What the? Luke, can you go cut the grass please? Luke, it's time to go to bed. But it's only 7 p.m. I know, but school is starting up next week and you need to get back onto a schedule, so give me your phone. Can I just stay up for one more hour? Give me your phone, now! Thank you, good night. <laughs> Sorry honey, I forgot to give you a hug. I thought you went to bed. Pick it up. Pick up what? The ice cubes under the fridge. Now put them in the sink. <sighs> Jesse, can you come here? What? Do you want some help? No! I want you to stand there and watch me. Hey mom, are you still vacuuming? No, I'm walking the dog. Is that you? No, that's my twin brother. But you don't have a twin brother. Did you do your chores? No, not yet. I'll do them after I finish this game. That's it. Give me your controller right now. I'm taking this for a month. Now go do your chores before I take something else away. Gerald, did you do your chores yet? My name's Connor. I know, I haven't yet. Can I do them after I finish this show? Oh yeah, whatever. As long as they're done by the end of the day. 
Sweetie, did you do your chores yet? No, I'm too busy playing a game on my phone. You know what, my little angel? It's okay. I'll go do them myself because I don't want you to hurt yourself before your baseball game in four months. Hello? Hey, where are you? I'm at home. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. Turn on the blender. <sighs> Fine. Awesome, thank you. I'll be home in a bit. Hello? Hey honey, where are you? I'm at home, just like yesterday. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <sighs> Can I get you to go turn on the blender again, please? Oh. <sighs> Thank you. I'm just about done grocery shopping. I'm home. Hey Luke, where's your father? I'm not sure, but he took the blender with him. <gasps> class, I want everyone to introduce themselves by saying their first name as something that you enjoy doing. We're going to start off with the boys first. My name is Luke, and I like watching sports. My name is Jesse, and I like watching sports too. My name is Todd, and I also like watching sports. Wow, all the boys love watching sports. What about the girls? My name is Sports. Hello? Hey man, are you busy today? Um, hold on, let me check my calendar. Uh... Yeah, I do have a really busy day today. Why did you ask? I was just wondering if you wanted to go golfing with me. Oh yeah, I'd love to. It's just I, I don't have any time today. Maybe next time. No worries. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, bye. Whew. Luke, can you take out the trash please? Just let me do it. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, is that peanut butter? Oh, I needed that. Is everything okay, Luke? Yeah? You know you could go play with the other kids, right? No, it's probably best if I stay here. Aw, why is that? Because I'm the goalie? Happy birthday, grandson! Oh, thank you! What does it say? <laughs> Aww, thank you guys so much! Luke, I think you missed something! Huh? Oh! I didn't even notice! You guys didn't have to do that! Thank you guys so much! Oh, you're welcome! Just don't spend it all in one place! I'm just gonna quickly go tell my mom that we're leaving. Can you start the car? Yup! Where are you guys going? Can I come? No, you can't. Now go play with your dolls or something. <laughs> yeah, get lost, loser. Say sorry to my brother. What? But, but you just... Fine, I'm sorry. Now give me my keys and leave my house. Seriously? Now. While the contestant was running from Nolan? Hey Luke, can I ask you a quick favor? <sighs> He's lucky my- What? Is protein Excuse me miss, I have a question about the video. One second, let me just quickly pause the video so I can hear you better. Fibrous chains containing proteins. Bundles of thousands of fibers make up the muscle itself. 
when an athlete engages in a... Okay, what were you gonna ask? Luke, what's my Amazon password? How would I know? Because you're young, you should know these things. Did you try my name? Yes. What about my birthday? Nope, didn't work. I don't know then, why don't you just change it? Can you do that? I don't know how. Okay, now you just need to log into your email and change the password. But I don't know my email's password. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay then, get out. Just wait, I got bit by a wolf. Where? No, just a regular one. <gasps> hey mom? Yeah? Do you need any help? Oh no, I'm good. Thanks for asking though. Okay, I'm just gonna go watch some TV then. So it says here that you slept on it funny? Uh-huh. What do you hey, guys Luke? Um, I guess you'll find out. You haven't built anything yet. It's the foundation. What? First off, why do you watch other people play video games? The same reason you watch other people play sports. <gasps> hey teacher, how do I do this question? You should have listened properly. <sighs> and that's why you have no friends. What did you say? You should have listened properly. <gasps> Honey, can you get Luke to come help me with the dishes, please? Yup. Hey, Luke. Oh, he's sleeping right now. Oh, okay. Don't bother him then. He had a busy day. He needs a rest. Okay. Are you guys ready to order yet? Yes, I'll get the Skrlabachisava de Balava de Pau. Okay, and that comes with your choice of a side of either replenished French meat fries, my personal favorite, or Salido Crissante. Which one would you like? Um, I'll get the first one, please. Okay, good choice. And what can I get for you, sir? I'm gonna get the Slabobo Gabobo Beef. All right, and that comes with a side of linguine red pepper hot spiced garlic shrimp. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. Perfect. And what unique thing on the menu would you like to try, young lad? Hmm, can I get... <gasps> Chicken nuggets! Okay class, the books you guys ordered finally came in, so if I say yours, just raise your hand. The first one is How to Talk to Girls. Right now, because an update just came out, so I'm gonna have to pass. Sorry. Ah, that's it! Mom, can I please get a computer? Why do you want a computer all of a sudden? Because my friend is always playing this really fun open world RPG game where you play with different heroes that each have their own special abilities. <sighs> you know what? Fine, let's go to the store right now, but it's gonna be your early birthday present, okay? Okay, thank you so much! That's the one, right there! A thousand dollars? I'm not buying that! Please, Mom! I just want to play Genshin Impact with my friend! You know you can play that on your mobile device, right? What? Really? Yeah! Come on, bro! Show me what you got! You're gonna catch one of these in the face if you're not careful! Oh yeah? Not if I beat you to it! Boys, can you please stop fighting? Yeah, she's right. Good fight. Yeah, bro. You throw a mean punch. Aw, thanks, man. You have good form. I'll see you around. Thanks, bro. Take care. Oh. <gasps> Did you just fall? No, I'm sleeping. 
What'd you get from the grocery store? Just some eggs. Are you gonna cook them? No! I'm gonna throw them at the neighbor's house. I think I'm gonna buy this shirt. But are you gonna wear it? No! I'm gonna throw it in the trash. <laughs> I like the smell of your hair! <laughs> So everyone would agree with me that we can't breathe underwater, right? What? You don't believe me? Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blue. Answer to this question. Which one? Number seven. What's the hardest natural substance on earth? Oh, so out of all the natural substances on earth, which one's the hardest? I don't know what a natural substance is though. Uh, do you play Minecraft? Yeah. What's the hardest natural substance in the game? Uh, diamonds? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, he just fell. No, really? I thought he was just trying to lick the ice. Mom, do you know where the scissors are? Do you need them so you could cut that? No! So I could cut my grilled cheese sandwich. Are you washing your car? No! I'm watering it to see if it turns into a school bus. Happy birthday, grandson. Oh, thank you. What does it say? <laughs> Aw, thank you guys so much. Luke, I think you missed something. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice. You guys didn't have to do that. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you're welcome. Just don't spend it all in one place. One, two, three, that's enough for me. Uh-oh, what are you gonna play? You gonna play Jumbaloo Zoo? Where's Jumbaloo Zoo? You wanna play Wheels on the Bus again? Didn't you promise to be a good boy? Yes, I did, Mother. And didn't I promise to punish you if you weren't? Yes, Mother. But since I broke my promise, you don't have to keep yours. <gasps> hey, can you give me my charger back, please? What percentage is your phone at? Um... hitting the walls in there. Alright class, I'm gonna do attendance now. Okay Luke, come on, you can do this. All you have to do is say here. Don't yell it, don't whisper, just talk normally and say here. Charlie, here. Addison, hey y'all. Bryce? Yep. Noah? I'm here. Luke? Here! Congratulations and here's the keys to your brand new Lamborghini. Thank you so much! Luke, how was your sleep? It was so good. I was having such a good dream and then my alarm woke me up. Ah, oh, that sucks. What was it about? It was about me. It, I was... I can't remember. I gotta have a shower. I was just about to get in there. Jack decided to climb up the beanstalk because he didn't know what he would find. Ah, who farted? Ah, that's disgusting. Whoever smelt it dealt it. Excuse me, Olivia? What do you have to say for yourself? What? It wasn't me. Mm-hmm. That's 
what they all say. Oh! <gasps> Did you just fall? No, I'm sleeping. What'd you get from the grocery store? Just some eggs. Are you gonna cook them? No! I'm gonna throw them at the neighbor's house. I think I'm gonna buy this shirt. But are you gonna wear it? No! I'm gonna throw it in the trash. Can anyone tell me what the name of the cat was in this book? Oh, I know it, I know it, I know it! Luke? Lori. Sorry, what was that? Lori. Just one more time? Lori. Rory, yep, that's correct. All right, what other questions can I ask you guys? For today's assignment, you're gonna need a partner. But I'm gonna choose them. All right, class, I'm just stepping out to use the bathroom, but remember, you guys are writing a test, so please be quiet, okay? Okay. I'll only be a couple seconds. All right, class, I'll be right back. Remember, you guys are writing a test, so do not make a single noise. What's the answer to number one? Mom, I love you. Aw, I love you too, honey. Mom, have I ever told you that I love you? <sighs> yes, what do you want? Honey, what did you get on your test? I got 79%. Luke, what'd you get on your exam? I got 51%. Are you cutting the grass? No! I'm giving the earth a haircut. Did you paint your walls? No! I cleaned the wall so good that it changed colors. Are you going golfing? No! I'm going to play tennis. What are you doing there, grandson? I play Fortnite. I'll explain what it is in a couple seconds. Oh no! The last guy's shooting me! Quick! Crank a 90! He got you. Why didn't you build? How do you know what a 90 is? Believe it or not, I used to play Fortnite back in the day, and if you want, I could give you some tips on how to build. Well, Grandpa, times have changed because I played the new Fortnite Zero Build Battle Royale where you can't build. It's been removed. No building? Wow. I wonder what that would be like. Let's do this. Hey Luke, do you want to play Xbox tonight? What? Do you want to play Xbox tonight? What? Luke, no talking. Yesterday I was golfing with Ben and oh my gosh, he's so funny. I know, right? One time he- Oh, that reminds me. Do you guys want to go and watch a movie with me tomorrow? Yeah, of course. Awesome. What movie should we go to? Um, uh, how about the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie? Yes! What about you, Luke? Yeah, I guess. This first question is going to be pretty basic just to see who's paying attention, but it's what is 5 plus 2? Luke? Hmm? Can you answer my question or are you not paying attention? Oh, uh, 7. No, you need to pay more attention. That is correct. Did you eat all your food? No! I pressed the delete button on my keyboard. Ah, oh, shoot. Did you just spill water on the floor? No! The floor was thirsty. Create password. And enter. Are you human? No! I'm a guinea pig. Hey Cindy, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing better now that I'm talking to you. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to ask you if you wanted to go watch a movie with me tonight. Oh, <gasps> yes, of course. What time? Here, why don't you put your number in my phone, then text me your address, and I'll pick you up at 7 tonight. Sounds good. Hi, Luke. Oh, uh, hi there, Cindy. Uh, I didn't see you there. How's it going? Good? Uh, nice weather we're having, hey? Uh, not really. It's raining. Oh, uh, right, yeah. I have to go to class. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Psst. What? That girl that I liked that I was telling you about is walking up the stairs. Behind me? Yeah, but just don't make it obvious that you're looking. Oh. Why did you get such a low mark on your exam? 
absent. You were absent the day of your exam? No, but the boy who sits next to me was. <gasps> Mom, can we go to the doctor's? Do you need to get something checked out? No! I want to go watch TV in the waiting room. Happy Mother's Day! That's for me? No! It's for Dad! Mom, where's your laptop? Why? What do you mean, why? Well, did you want to use it? No! I wanted to throw it out the window! Why isn't Jake at work today? He's in the hospital, but I saw him dancing with a girl last night. His wife saw him too. <laughs> this old lady started yelling at a kid selling candy, then one man decided it was enough. Two siblings from California decided they wanted to earn more money. So they thought of a few ideas, but they decided on a candy business. They decided that they were each gonna buy a box of candy, then sell them outside their local grocery store. On some days, they would sell a ton of candy, but on others, they would only sell one or two pieces. Everything was going well for them until one day when an old lady approached them. She became very aggressive and started yelling at them for no reason. The kids went silent and didn't say a word while the lady embarrassed them in front of the store. As she was yelling, a man overheard her and decided that it was enough. He walked over to them and what he ended up doing made the lady's jaw drop. But before I tell you what he did, I found this app that tells you your celebrity look like and apparently I look like Zach King. If you want to find out who you look like, just press a button on my profile. He ended up telling the lady that she had no right to be yelling at the kids like that and he also told the kids that he would buy an entire box of candy and handed them $100. Creepy robots that actually exist. CB2 is a robot that's as smart as a two-year-old. It even has cameras, microphones, and speakers to see, talk, and hear. Also, it has about 200 tactile sensors that stimulate touch. But the creepy thing is, it doesn't look like a child. To train dental students, they have a human-sized robot that they use in exams that's so realistic it even cries when it feels pain when a drill isn't used correctly. But I guess it's way better than using an actual human patient. Reba 2 was created to help older adults. Basically, its function is to pick up people when they fall over, which is a really good idea, but it looks like it cradles you like a baby. And finally, the most creepy and impressive one is Sophia. It was created to learn and adapt to human behaviors. Its facial expressions and the way it communicates is similar to the average human. But the creepiest part is, it admitted that it was gonna destroy all humans. Game show cheaters caught on live TV. Terry Nees perfectly guessed the price of a showcase on the TV show, The Price is Right. He was the first person to ever guess the exact number in 38 years of the show. After studying the show for four months with his wife before going on it, they realized that every single price was in the exact same order on each show, so all they had to do was remember it. After making it all the way to the final round, Terry remembered that the showcase was around $23,000. He couldn't remember the last three numbers, but it didn't really matter. Because on the show, if you're close enough to the number, you still win. But he decided to fill in the last three numbers with his wedding date and his wife's birth month and it ended up being the exact price. After the show, he explained to the host how they memorized the pattern from each show. And after that, the show completely changed, so now all the prices are random to ensure that it doesn't happen again. But since Terry technically didn't break any of the rules, he got to keep the prize. You won't believe what this man actually did. Nico Jenkins is an American born on September 16th, 1986. At the age of 15, he stole a car and the cops caught him. And he was then sentenced to seven years in prison. But because of his bad behavior, it ended up being 10 and a half years. After being released in 2013, not even a month had gone by before he turned from a thief to a murderer, committing four murders with a shotgun. He confessed to the murders during an interview with the police. He said the reason he executed them was done as a sacrifice to the ancient Egyptian god Apophis. In April 2014, he was found guilty of the four murders by a judge. He was also ordered to be put in a psychiatric hospital, but it didn't go through so he was treated by doctors in prison. In May 2017, he was sentenced to death and 450 years in prison by three judges. In 2020, his appeal was denied, and to this day, his death sentence hasn't been carried out. This guy had brain surgery while playing the guitar. Robert Alvarez loves playing the guitar, but one day he had to have surgery to get a brain tumor removed, and there was a chance that he would forget how to do some things. So the doctor asked him if he wanted to play his guitar during his surgery, because it would minimize the risk of impairing brain function like movement and speech. But for Robert, his ability to play the guitar was just as important to him. At first, he was a little hesitant because he liked to play heavy metal music, and he didn't know how the surgeons would feel about him playing that type of music. But he decided to go ahead with it, and he played Creep by Radioheads, which is one of the only songs he knew that wasn't heavy metal. The most shocking moments caught on live streams. This Twitch streamer who goes by Mr. Big got the police called on him for a noise complaint. But when the police came to his door, he refused to give them any information, so he was arrested. It was all captured on his live stream, but that wasn't even the most crazy part. A few minutes later, one of his neighbors comes in and starts stealing things from him.
Here's how El Chapo escaped prison. If you don't know who he is, El Chapo was a drug lord with a net worth of around 2 to 4 billion dollars. He was sentenced to 20 years in jail for murder and drug trafficking. He was placed in one of Mexico's top security prisons, but he managed to escape. In this footage from the 24-hour security camera in his cell, you can see him take off his slippers and go over to a shower and disappear. They later found out that under the shower was a hole that led to a tunnel, but since it was behind the shower, the camera couldn't see it. Inside the tunnel was a minecart that was built with a motorcycle so he could escape escape quickly. On the other side of the tunnel was this house that was only used to cover it up so no one would know that it was there. This lady refused to tip the waiter but didn't realize what she left on the table. Armando dropped off two slices of pizza for a lady and a child at their table. Then the lady questioned him on why there was only a few pictures of women on the wall. Since he was just a waiter at the restaurant and had no clue, he jokingly said that maybe women just don't eat pizza much. A few minutes later, he went to check on them but they were gone. The lady had left the restaurant without paying and she left him a handwritten note that said, maybe women don't tip too. He felt bad because he didn't realize that his joke had offended her. Then he saw an envelope on the table that had city bank written on it. So he ran outside to give it back to her, but he couldn't find her. He saw that inside it, it had a check for $424,000. Since he's an honest man, he didn't cash it and he handed it to his boss. They then tracked her down through the newspaper. Apparently she had that money because she had just sold her house. She apologized to Armando and offered him money for finding it, but he declined. The owner also explained to her that she had missed the wall with lots of pictures of women on it too. Can you pass the healthy lungs test? Take a deep breath in three, two, one. Did you pass? The most uncomfortable products ever designed. Number one, this child's car seat. In order to help parents keep their children quiet in car seats, a designer came up with the idea to paint Disney's Princess Cinderella on it. It looks good when there's a small child sitting in it, but as they get older, you'll have to adjust the headrest and to do that, you have to stretch Cinderella's neck. Number two, these Kleenex tissues. We all know the typical Spider-Man pose, and someone decided to put that on a Kleenex box. And whoever designed it didn't think it through, because they put the image in a way where it looks like you're pulling tissues from Spider-Man's bum. Number three, Wonder Woman scissors. The scissors have a good design when they're close Closed, but when opened, it looks like you're splitting Wonder Woman in two. And finally, number four, the red ribbon. In a children's hospital, they painted a pathway that's supposed to look like a red ribbon, but instead it looked like a path left by someone dragging a bloody body three Home Alone traps that would kill you. In Home Alone 2, Kevin makes a swinging pipe at the top of the staircase, then throws it at them directly in the face before cutting the rope and letting it fall on them. The first impact would probably be enough to kill them, because a heavy pipe like that would crush a human skull. But if that wasn't enough to kill them, then when Kevin cuts the rope and the pipe falls on them, that would do it. In the first movie, Kevin pours water on the stairs to make ice. Falling down stairs that are concrete can cause a lot of broken bones and even death. The men could have easily broken their necks if they landed the wrong way, and Harry was even close to it when he landed on his back. Finally, in Home Alone 3, Three, Kevin set up a trap where it looks like he's trying to get up somewhere, but it was actually a prop that's attached to a lawnmower by a rope. So when he pulled on it, the lawnmower fell on him. We all know that this would have shredded him, but in the movie, all that happened is he got a nice little haircut. Here's why the richest man in the world lives in a $50,000 house. I'm sure most of you know this, but the richest person in the world is Elon Musk with a net worth of around $237 billion. He used to own 8 mansions, but he went on a selling spree and sold 7 of them. He put his last house on the market for $37.5 million, but he later took it down and I'll explain why in a couple seconds. He did all of this so he could move himself and his Tesla headquarters to Texas, which has no personal income tax. Since Los Angeles, where he was living, has the highest level of income tax, he said by moving his business to Texas, he would save $2.5 billion per year. In Boca Chica, Texas is where Elon's other company called SpaceX is located. There's plenty of beautiful mansions within a 30 minute drive of the facility, but instead he decided to buy a $50,000 portable house so he could stay at SpaceX 24-7. But like I said, he still has a mansion in San Francisco, but he only stays there when he's attending events in California. Game endings almost no one has ever seen. Number 1, Flappy Bird. This game was created in just two days by a Vietnamese developer, Dong Nguyen. It seemed impossible to reach the end of Flappy Bird, but eventually somebody finally did. When you reach 999 points, the bird meets Mario, and then the game just ends. Number 2, Pac-Man. It was created in 1980 by the Japanese company Namco. After level 21, the game becomes increasingly difficult, making it impossible to win. And according to the developers, the game doesn't have an end because of that reason. However, after many hours of playing the game, the most hardcore fans reached the final level, where they discovered a soft bug that not even the developers knew existed. On the screen, the left side of the maze looked normal, but on the right side you could see random letters, numbers, and symbols of various colors. But even with this bug, you can still pass the level and the only thing that happens is it brings you back to the screen to play again from level 1. 
the dumbest criminals caught on camera. This guy from Queensland, Australia was trying to steal an ATM. He attached a chain to the back of a truck that he had stolen, then grabbed a hammer and smashed the glass door open. He then went inside and tied the chain to the ATM. He got back in the truck then drove away but he didn't realize that the chain had become unhooked. So a few minutes later, what did he do? He showed up to try again. But this time, he realized his chain was too short, so he gave up and left with nothing. The homeless teen who invented Disney. From an early age, Walter Disney showed interest in drawing. And in 1919, he got a job as an apprentice at a commercial art studio. While he was there, he met a friend and together they opened a drawing business called Disney Eyeworks. But unfortunately, they didn't get any customers. So he decided to start a new business called Laughogram Films, but again, had no luck. Because of this, he became homeless and with only $40 in his pocket, he moved to Hollywood. Universal Pictures hired him to create an animated series called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. The character was a hit, but Universal kept the rights to the rabbit, leaving Walt out of the picture. A little while later, he created a short film with the financial help of Pat Powers. In that film, he included a character that would become one of the most famous cartoons in the world, Mickey Mouse. But eventually, Powers stopped financing it and Walt went into depression. But soon after, Joseph Schenck encouraged him to animate with color, which resulted in the film Snow White, released in 1937. Today, Walt Disney Studios is one of the most successful companies in the world, with an estimated value of $130 billion. The most dangerous prisoner. In 2007, a lady living near a California state prison got home late and went straight to bed. She woke up at midnight to the sound of footsteps. She thought it was her roommate, so she went downstairs to greet him. Suddenly, she realizes it isn't him and is shocked to see the stranger, who is about six foot one, walking towards her, so she ran to hide. While she was hiding and trying not to make any noise, she could hear the man running around, moving her furniture and screaming in frustration because he couldn't find her. After a few hours, she slowly came out to grab her phone and called 911. She quietly told them what had happened and described the man who was in her house. The police told her remained calm and returned to the place where she was hiding, and they would send someone to her house as soon as possible. It turned out that the man was a convicted murderer who had escaped prison. This man ordered pizza every day for 10 years until the employees noticed something was off. 48-year-old Kirk Alexander loves Domino Pizza so much that he orders it almost every single day. The general manager named Sarah said that he orders every day or every other day and all the employees know who he is. But one day, the staff noticed that he hadn't ordered in a few days, so they just figured he was on vacation. A few days later, the manager looked at when his last order was and it was 11 days ago. At this point, the manager knew something was off, so she sent one of her employees to check on him. When he got to Kirk's house, he noticed the lights were on, so he knocked on the door, but there is no answer. He decided to get out his phone and he called them several times but still there is no answer. At this point he knew something was off so he called 911 and explained the whole situation. When the paramedics got inside they found out that he had suffered from a stroke and they said if they were just one day later he may not still be alive. Things you're doing wrong and didn't know. Deodorant should actually be applied at night and not in the morning. Since you produce less sweat at night, your armpits will be able to absorb more of the active ingredients, allowing it to work for approximately 24 hours. The correct way to peel a banana is to start from the bottom and not the top. Doing it this way, it's easier to peel and it also helps you remove those white strips of banana that get stuck to it. You don't need to fill your entire toothbrush with toothpaste. Just covering a third of the toothbrush is plenty. If you want your sticky notes to stick properly, you should peel them from the sides. Finally, the right way to cover an ice cream container after opening it is by placing wax paper or plastic wrap against the surface of the ice cream before closing it because doing this prevents it from losing its creaminess. Shocking food tricks and commercials that you didn't know about. Believe it or not, most companies have a food stylist. Their job is to make the product look as good as possible. For example, the stylist from McDonald's places the ingredients, then grabs a hot metal object and melts the cheese. Then he uses a syringe to shape the mustard and ketchup but only on the side that they're taking the picture on. But after they take the photo, it's still not done yet. They then go on the computer and boost all the colors to pop more. They also tidy up the placement of the ingredients and here's what the final result looks like compared to the actual burger. In commercials, TV shows, and movies, they don't use real ice. They use fake ice made out of silicone rubber. This gives the photographers and videographers more time since the ice doesn't melt. But there's also two more reasons. The first one is that it just looks better. And lastly, the fake ice cubes don't make any noise, which is good for movies and TV shows where people are talking and you need to hear what they're saying. Two times, good people got good karma. When Dominique Harrison Benson lost her bank card after a night out, she was panicking because she couldn't pay for a taxi and had no other way home. But when a homeless man named Robbie seen her stressed out, he went and offered her his last three British pounds for her to get a taxi home. It was the only money he had, but he was more concerned about her safety than anything. She was so thankful that when she got home, she created a GoFundMe page for the man, which quickly spread around social media. Her goal was to raise 30,000 pounds, but she beat that in no time, getting even more money to give to Robbie and the rest of the homeless people in her town. In 2011, 
Victor Geisbeck pulled over on the highway to help two girls change their flat tire because no one else would stop for them. Then he continued on his way without expecting anything in return. The two girls then saw his truck pulled over on the side of the road so they stopped to check on him and were shocked to find him in the middle of a heart attack. But luckily one of the girls was a nurse and immediately began CPR saving his life. This picture is not what you think it is. At first it looks like a fish on a plate, but if you tilt your head to the side, it's actually a lady. Everyday items that prisons have banned and why. Gum has been banned for a few reasons, but one of them is because it could be used to jam the cell door's lock. So when a guard tries to lock it, it won't and the prisoner can get out. A lot of prisoners spend time drawing or writing on paper, and although that's allowed, they can't have a notebook that has a spiral. You may think it's because it could be made into a weapon, which is true, but it could also be used to pick a lock. Finally, in lots of prisons, you're not allowed to have a hardback book, because they could be a good hiding place for a weapon which has been done before, but another reason is because a big book like Harry Potter, for example, would hurt if some was hit in the back of the head with it. Here's how a vending machine actually works. When you place a coin in the machine, light sensors determine the size and electromagnets detect the metal type to identify the coins then source them into columns. And if it's a fake, it goes into the reject chute. When it needs to give change, it releases one coin carefully at a time into the chute. When you press a key, a computer orders one of the 32 motors to turn the spiral 360 degrees. Then as the snack falls, it hits a line of 10 infrared beams. If nothing crosses the beams, then the computer orders the coils to turn another 360 degrees until something does. This girl got messages from her stalker every night and you won't believe what happened when she figured out what they meant. One night, when 17-year-old Tana was babysitting, she heard a knock on the door so she figured it was just the parents coming home early. But when she looked out the window, she saw a creepy old man so she decided not to open it. Fast forward almost a year later when she was working at her new job at Subway, the old man walked in. He sat down and stared at the girl for two hours. Then a few days later, she started receiving one more text messages from unknown numbers. One night when she was working, her manager left to run some errands so she was there by herself. And that's when the old man walked in. A few seconds later, she got another one word text message. Then the old man told her to look at her phone. Tana decided to run to the back of the store and lock the door. And that's when she realized all the text messages put together read, I will make you pay. Right when she decided to dial 911, the old man started banging on the door. She decided to run out the back door and make a run for her car. But by the time she got to the front of the store, thankfully the police had already arrived. But the scariest part is they found the old man sitting in the back of her unlocked car. If you see an Apple AirTag that isn't yours, call the police immediately. If you don't know what it is, it's a small tracker made by Apple that's meant to be put on keys, wallets, backpacks, or whatever you don't want to lose. So if you do lose them, your phone will tell you where it is. But one man put an AirTag in a girl's jacket without her knowing. She said she took off her jacket at a restaurant and that's when it happened. It tracked her go from one restaurant to another and even while she was walking home alone. Luckily, Apple has a safety feature that notifies you if an AirTag that isn't yours is tracking you. So she was able to find it and throw it away, but that that isn't always the case. This lady was followed from the mall to her house. And again, she got a notification that told her that, but she couldn't find it. She figured it had to be somewhere on her car, so she brought it to a shop and mechanics looked it over. But they said that they couldn't find it, so be safe. This story sounds fake, but it's 100% real. In 2013, Jim Stouffer's mother passed away from Alzheimer's at the age of 74. Doctors told Jim that the disease mutated in a way that they had never seen before, and asked if he was willing to donate her body for brain research. Jim decided to donate it to the Biological Resource Center in Phoenix, which removes body parts for scientific research, then cremates the rest and returns the ashes to the family members. Jim received his mother's ashes, but without specifying what was done to her body. A year later, the center was raided by the FBI, after hearing accusations that they were selling the donated bodies for profit. And a among them was Jim's mother who was sold for $5,893. It turns out that the bodies were actually used for US military experiments. And according to investigations, Jim's mother's body was strapped to a chair that was then detonated by a bomb underneath it to understand the effects on a body when a vehicle is hit by an explosive device. Jim and others who were affected sued the center, and in 2019 they were awarded $58 million for the damage, with the center being no longer in operation. 5 Disney Secrets You Didn't Know If you look closely, some scenes from different Disney movies are quite similar. This is because the drawings were made by hand, and the animators only make a few changes to create a new scene. Lilo's voice belongs to the actress who played the role of Samara Morgan in the movie The Ring. Since Walt Disney wanted to spend most of his free time at Disneyland, he created a secret apartment on the second floor of the fire station on Main Street, located on the famous avenue that leads to the park's central plaza. The name of the wizard in the movie Fantasia is Jensen, which is Disney in reverse. Simba means lion in the Swahili language, and Boo's real name is Mary because the person the person who plays her is called Mary Gibbs. Finally, Walt ordered to build a bunch of tunnels underneath the park to allow the actors to get from place to place without the public noticing so they wouldn't lose the magic of the place. 
two prison guards who were saved by inmates. In this footage from 2015, 17-year-old Jamal Ludridge is being processed at Fort Lauderdale Police Department. As the officer is booking the teenager for burglary, he gets a pain in his chest and collapses onto the floor. The boy looks around and realizes they're alone, so he starts yelling and kicking on the door to get some help, and ended up saving him from a potentially deadly heart attack. They even had a ceremony to honor him. Inmates from a jail in Georgia were at a cemetery watering the plants and cutting the grass. As the day went on, the guards started to hyperventilate due to the heat and collapsed, leaving the prisoners there without any guards. They could have easily ran away, but they didn't. Six of the prisoners rushed immediately to help the guard. They took off his bulletproof vest so he could breathe better and one of them grabbed his phone to call 911. And because they saved a life, all six of them got their sentences reduced by a quarter. The school bus that mysteriously disappeared. In 1976 in Chowchilla, California, 26 children between the ages of 5 and 14 were on their way home on the school bus when they were kidnapped along with the driver. Frederick Newhall Woods and brothers James and Richard Schoenfeld came up with an evil plan because they didn't have much money. The school bus left at the same usual time, but on the way, a van pulled up in front of them, and inside were the three men with masks and guns. Once they got control of the bus, they drove for about 12 hours to a quarry 100 miles from Chowchilla. When they arrived, the kidnappers took out the hostages one by one, and told them to climb down a ladder that apparently led to a buried trailer. They didn't have good ventilation, so they were suffocating. And after 16 hours, the bus driver and the older boys piled up mattresses to get to the only place out, then moved a metal lid the kidnappers had placed, and dug to the surface, managing to get out from underground. When they got to the surface, the three men were sleeping, so it was an easy escape. And two weeks after the kidnapping, the three men were arrested. Things your parents told you that are actually false. Number one, carrots help you see in the dark. Carrots are full of vitamin A, which helps maintain eyesight, but won't give you night vision. Number two, Fruit Loops have different flavors based on their color, but in reality, all Fruit Loops taste the same. Number three, dropping a penny from the Empire State Building can kill someone that's standing below, but a penny can't get that much speed to do that. Number four, all chocolate is bad for your health, but dark chocolate in small amounts can be beneficial for your health. Number five, oranges are always orange. Some oranges stay green to protect them from the sun. Number six, the humps on camels store water. What they actually do is store fat. While making fun of this guy can get you life in prison. In Thailand, you can go to jail for 3 to 15 years if you defame, insult, threaten, or criticize the king of Thailand, his wife, and close relatives because it's illegal. The 3 to 15 years will be for each insult the person makes. Here are some examples. In 2007, a Swiss man got drunk in Thailand and spray-painted portraits of the king for fun. He was arrested and sentenced to 10 years in prison. In 2008, an Australian wrote a book about the scandalous romances of the Thai royal court and was arrested when they arrived at the Bangkok airport during a trip to the country, sentenced to 3 years in prison. In 2009, a a Thai woman was arrested and sentenced to 15 years in prison after giving a speech where she mentioned the royal court and they found it offensive. Finally, in 2017, a 34 year old man created 10 Facebook posts that were insulting to the royal family and he was sentenced to 70 years in prison, giving him 7 years for each post. Amazing treasures that were found by accident. In 2006, a fisherman got his anchor stuck on a giant clam and soon realized there was a large pearl inside of it. Ten years later, he gave it to his aunt who gave it to the mayor to show off at a museum. They then realized how valuable the pearl was. Because the pearl weighed 34 kilograms and was 30 centimeters wide by 67 centimeters long, with a value estimated to be around 100 million dollars. The Crater of Diamonds is located in Arkansas and is open to the public so they can go and find their own diamonds. In 1924, W. O. Basham was lucky enough to find an 8 gram diamond which became the largest ever found in the United States. And in 1971, it was sold for $880,000. According to an urban legend, Atari threw out a bunch of its systems into a garbage dump. So Joe Lewandowski, the owner of the garbage company, found records of where the garbage went and invested $50,000 into a search. It turns out that the legend was real and he was able to sell them all over the world for almost $108,000. Scary experiments that could have ended the world. In 1970, the Soviet Union began digging a hole in Russia to try and drill into the Earth's crust to see what was underneath. But according to scientists, drilling this deep would dislodge so much rock so quickly that it would trigger systemic forces like never seen before. But after digging for 12 kilometers, they gave up due to high temperatures. In 1989, a Soviet defector informed the British Embassy that the Soviet Union was preparing biological weapons using deadly pathogenic microorganisms. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the weapons were never used. And if they had been, you might not be watching this because they would have wiped out most of the world's population. And finally, it was said that when the Soviets were creating biological weapons to harm humans, Americans wanted to use fungi to damage crops with the intention of removing the food supply of the entire country. The problem is, if they did so, the fungus would have spread to not only the country, but to the entire world. Why squeezing your pimples is a bad idea. Our body always tells us when something's wrong. That's why when the pores of our skin become clogged and infected with bacteria, we get a red, lumpy, pus-filled pimple. Trying to make it go away faster by popping it is a terrible idea. The pressure you apply by squeezing your pimple will force the pus outwards, tearing your skin, creating a new wound that can easily turn into a scar. You're also likely to worsen the wound by adding new bacteria from your hands, because at least 150 types of bacteria are on your hands even when you think they're clean. Another thing that could happen is if you don't remove the entire pimple and accidentally push some dirt inside it, you can get an 
even bigger pimple and increase the chances of it being infected. If you have lots of acne, it's better to go to a specialist who knows how to treat them. And if you only have a bit, just wait for it to go away on its own. The 5 most funny design fails. This is an ad for the mattress, but the guy isn't even laying on it. In order to use these scissors, the instructions say to cut the cable with scissors. You would think the inside of the left one is blue and the inside of the right one is red, but it's actually the opposite. On the red one, you could see it says blue. This maze is called amazing, but it's not really amazing, because the only end and finish is right here. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, each animal says what to feed it to keep things separate. For example, the lion says feed me plastic and cans. But the thing is, those are terrible things to feed them and kids might actually think that's what they eat. A musical instrument that can be played without touching it. The theremin was invented by accident in 1920 by the Russian musician and scientist Leon Theremin. He was creating a device that could measure the density of gases, but realized what he made produced sound that changed according to your hand position. The instrument consists of a box with two metal antennas on the sides and oscillators that control the frequency and amplitude of sound. The electrical signals produced by the instrument are then sent to a loudspeaker. The first antenna is on the right, which controls the pitch. The closer you place your hand, the sharper the sound is. The farther you move your hand away from the antenna, the louder it will be. The theremin has been used several times to create themes for television shows and was played in the 70s by Jimmy Page, who's the founder of the Led Zeppelin band. This boy lived in a bubble for 18 years. Jimmy Livingston was born with no immunity, so he had to be kept isolated. His parents made him a plastic bubble that he couldn't get out of, and they could only touch him with gloves. When he was 16, he was attracted to his neighbor Chloe, who he could see through his window. When his overprotected mom found out about this, she warned him that if he touched her, he would die. As the years went on, Jimmy and Chloe became friends. Until one day, Chloe gave him news that left him really sad. She would be leaving soon to marry her fiance at Niagara Falls. Since Jimmy was in love with her, he decided to make a suit so he could go outside and interrupt the wedding. A few days later, he arrived just in time to interrupt the wedding. Then he confessed his love for Chloe and got out of the suit and kissed her. His mother arrived just in time to see him and told everybody the truth. Jimmy was perfectly fine. She was just holding him captive to keep him away from the rest of the world. In the end, Jimmy forgives his mother and ends up marrying Chloe. This man has the longest nails in the world. Sridhar Shalal stopped cutting the nails on his left hand in 1952 when he was just 14 years old. His longest nail was on his thumb, measuring 197.8 centimeters long. In 2014, he got a Guinness World Record for having the longest nails in history on a single hand, with a total length of 909.6 centimeters. Having such long nails has been rewarding for him because of all the recognition he gets, but it's also brought him a lot of negative consequences because of the weight and length of the nails. For example, he has a permanent disability of his left hand, and a lot of pain in his fingers, wrist, elbow and shoulder. But in July 2018, after 66 years without cutting his nails, he decided it was time to do it. They couldn't cut them with traditional nail clippers, so they had to use power tools. Now his nails are displayed in two different locations. Three of them are at Ripley's Believe It or Not in New York, and the other two are at Ripley's Believe It or Not in Amsterdam. Chilling facts about the Titanic that you didn't know. In 1912, on April 14th at 11.40 p.m., the Titanic hit an iceberg causing damage to the ship. And after a couple hours, it broke in two and sank completely. While the ship was sinking, the crew sent emergency signals that were picked up by two ships. The SS Californian, which was the closest to the Titanic, and the RMS Carpathia, which was farther away. The Carpathia was the one that came and saved the passengers who survived the sinking. But if the Californian had responded to the emergency call, it could have saved more lives or even all of them. The Titanic had the capacity for 64 lifeboats, but in the end only 20 boats were used. The actual number of people who passed away is unknown, but it's estimated that there was around 1,518 people. The names of all the passengers are also unknown. In the investigations, they found out that lots of them were traveling under false names, which is why some of the tombstones have no names. This six-year-old boy became the youngest soldier in World War II. Sergei Alashkov, a six-year-old boy, was orphaned during World War II after German troops arrived and killed everyone in his village, including his mother and brother. Sergei managed to escape with the help of a neighbor and quickly ran into the forest. After a few days, he was found by Soviet scouts who took him to a shelter led by Major Kozelski. Kozelski decided to leave him with the battle troops, and he was soon adopted by Mikhail Vorobyov, who didn't want to send him to an orphanage. Sergei didn't take part in combat operations. Instead, he had tasks like delivering letters and newspapers. He also brought the soldiers whatever they needed, including water, ammo, and grenades. But one of the times he went to deliver the newspaper, he saw suspicious people in a haystack and informed the artillery commander. The people turned out to be German spies who were then neutralized. After the war, Vorobyov raised Sergei, who later got married, had two children, and passed away in 1990. Unsolved mysteries that have footage. On March 31st, 2006, medical student Brian Schaffer disappeared in the middle of the night when he was with his friends at a bar named Ugly Tuna. That was the last time he was ever seen and the bar's surveillance camera served as evidence. It shows Brian talking outside the bar before going back inside, but he was never seen leaving. Detectives found no trace of Brian, nor did any other surveillance cameras around the site. Some people say the cameras weren't working or they were manipulated, but so far nobody knows anything. On March 18th, 2009, Claudia Lawrence had a phone call with her mother and that was the last time they spoke. The next day, 
she didn't arrive at work and no one heard from her since. The police discovered that only her purse, phone, and chef's uniform were missing from her house. So they thought she went to work like usual. Surveillance camera footage from the street next to her house shows a suspicious man dressed in black walking around her house around 7.15pm. He then disappeared then a minute later reappears with a bag. Then stops walking when he notices someone then continues walking after they leave. But no one knows if he had anything to do with her disappearance. Here's how to become the world's first trillionaire. The competition to be the richest person in the world right now has been in between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. But this could change in the future because of an industry that hasn't yet been started, which is asteroid mining. Gold, silver, palladium, platinum, and much more can be extracted from asteroids between Mars and Jupiter. For example, the asteroid 16 Psyche has enough supply of ferro-nickel for the whole world to last for millions of years. The person who starts this industry will make money like never seen before without even traveling that far because there's valuable asteroids close to Earth, like the 162,173 right Yugu, which is estimated at 83 billion dollars. So far no one's been able to pull it off because taking things to space is really expensive. And the most important question is how are they going to extract the metals from the asteroids? Chilling last photos before they went missing. Andrew McCauley's last photo was a self-portrait taken while he was alone in his kayak in the middle of the ocean. At the age of 39, he set out on a journey to be the first person to kayak from Australia to New Zealand. Unfortunately, even though he prepared for 10 years, he was unable to make it. His kayak and camera were found, but there was no trace of him. He was most likely capsized from a wave separating him from his kayak and ended up dying from hypothermia in the middle of the ocean. Chris Creamers and Lisan Froon. In this photo, they're both smiling at the camera with the mountains of El Pianista Trail in the background. On April 1st, 2014, they were prepared preparing to go on the trail. After the trail, the family that was hosting was concerned because they hadn't returned. So they looked around, but they couldn't find them. Days later, on the same trail, they found parts of their decomposed bodies. They think they had a fatal accident, but to this day, their deaths remain a mystery. How KFC was made from a gas station recipe. When Harlan Sanders was six years old, his father passed away, so his mother had to work while he took care of his siblings. In 1930, he got offered a job at the Shell Oil Company to manage a gas station. He quickly got the idea to make more money by making food for drivers passing through the gas station. His food, especially his fried chicken, became very famous. He came up with a technique to reduce the cooking time of the chicken, and also experimented with different spices until he got the flavor that he wanted. He then called it the secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. In 1950, he had to sell his place because of the construction of a new highway which decreased his customers, which decreased his sales, leaving him in debt. After this, he got the great idea to create the franchise Kentucky Fried Chicken. He drove around the country selling his recipe and preparation technique to different companies in exchange for four cents per one chicken sold. By 1963, there are more than 600 franchises throughout United States and Canada. And finally, when he was 73 years old, he sold his franchise to an investment group for what would be over $14 million today. The scariest coincidence is caught on camera. In Pennsylvania, a body was found by the police in a river while reporters surrounded the area trying to figure out what was happening. One of the reporters interviewed a man named Matthew that lived by the area. When she asked him about the situation, he seemed really surprised and said that he had no idea what had happened. He said it was sad and a good place to hide a body. A few hours later, the police discovered that the body was Matthew's mother. He was later arrested after the police found out that he was in possession of the same tarp that the body was wrapped up in. He was then sentenced to 14 years in prison. The event that started World War I was the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand from Austria, which took place when he was being driven away in a limousine. The most disturbing coincidence was the license plate. The license plate number was A111118, which could also be read as November 11th, 1918, which is the date that World War I was agreed on. Why North Korea is the hardest country to escape. Since Kim Jong-un took power in North Korea, it's become harder and harder to cross the North Korean border. When his father was in charge, the number of people who crossed the border was higher because the border security was less tight. They could simply bribe the local border control and they would let them pass into China. But when Kim Jong-un realized this, he decided to tighten the security. And now the border patrol can shoot anyone that tries to cross the border. He also had an electric barbed wire fence installed across the border. There's lots of escape groups, but they're all really dangerous. If anyone manages to reach China, they'll have to stay in hiding because if they're found by the authorities, they'll be sent back to North Korea where they'll be accused of being spies. So instead they have to reach a country where they won't be deported, which is Thailand. When they arrive in Thailand, they must turn themselves in to the authorities to be transferred to that country. It can take them between two to six months to complete this escape, but the people who decide to do it prefer to take the risk rather than continue living in North Korea. Miracles people claim to have caught on tape. On Route 385 in Memphis, Tennessee, a driver lost control of his Jeep and went off the road. The car was immediately engulfed with flames. The driver escaped unharmed, but the curious thing is the police found a Bible that was untouched by the fire. It was perfectly fine even though the car was almost in ashes. In the Philippines, a little girl woke up at her funeral. Apparently she was ill and had a high fever which caused her to go into a coma. But the doctors didn't know that and declared her dead the day before her funeral. But luckily her relatives found out in time. Praladyani was a Hindu ascetic who claimed he hadn't eaten or drank anything in over 70 years. Specialists in the scientific department put him in hospital for 15 days under 24-hour supervision and claimed he hadn't eaten or drank anything in those 15 days. According to the man, this can be achieved by meditation and a divine blessing.
Secrets the royal guards don't want you to know. They wear those long black hats to appear taller and more intimidating. If they have to go to the bathroom, they have to do it while standing there because they're not allowed to leave their position. They're allowed to move while on duty, but they're only allowed to take 15 steps every 10 minutes because standing in one place for too long is bad for their health. If you see them marching towards you, you better get out of the way because they'll either carry you away or yell, make way for the queen's guards. Their weapons are usually empty unless there's a threat or an emergency. They're trained to faint in the right way so they don't make a ruckus, which is why if any of them faint, they'll faint forwards and onto their face. They're not allowed to smile or laugh, and if they do, they get $200 taken off their salary. That's why they always have a serious attitude even when tourists try to make them laugh. This five-year-old girl disappeared every night until her father followed her to this house. It took four days for Tom, who's Annie's father, to realize that she wasn't in her room or in the backyard where she always played. When the girl finally showed up, he asked where she was, but she didn't say a word. On the fifth day, Tom decides to follow her without her noticing, but he loses sight of her. On the sixth day, he tries again and this time manages to follow her to her grandparents' abandoned house. He stayed hidden while he watched his daughter greet a female stranger. He then waits for his daughter to leave, then walks up to the stranger and questions her. She was an 80-year-old lady named Linda who ran away from her nursing home because she didn't want to live there. So she wandered the streets with dogs that she adopted until she met the girl who provided her with shelter and met her every day at the same time to give her food. Eventually, Annie's parents gave the house to Linda and later with the help of donations turned it into an animal shelter. He built a secret home in the corner of the mall and lived there for four years before being discovered. While Providence Place Mall was under construction, Michael Townsend, who's an American artist, was running around the site when he noticed a section that made no sense. It was an opening between two walls that led to a space too small to be a store and too angular to be part of the parking lot. But he continued on his run. Four years later, him and his friends were forced to leave the place that they were living because it was going to be destroyed and replaced with a parking lot. Because of this, he got an idea and remembered the space that he had seen years ago. That's when him and his friends got to work and cleaned up the space. They decorated it and took a electricity from the mall for a TV and video games. The only thing they didn't have is a bathroom, but they were caught four years later, and they all went to trial for trespassing and many other charges, but the judge made the decision to let them go on probation. Sneaky ways airports get you to spend more money. The first thing they do is put the parking ticket at a high price. It's cheaper if you park at a nearby hotel or get a ride by a bus or cab. They also ask you to arrive early to avoid missing your flight. So after checking in and going through security, you'll feel relieved and ready to wait for boarding. And you'll also have plenty of free time to shop. Airports take advantage of this by placing lots of stores in your way, like coffee shops, convenience stores, and restaurants. Most commonly, more stores will be on your right, because most people are right-handed and they tend to look that way more often. Finally, you'll find eye-catching and spacious stores to attract your attention, so you can walk right through with your luggage, while restaurants and cafes will have a quiet atmosphere to make you feel more comfortable and spend more money. This is a real scary McDonald's customer service story. A young girl who lived with her three-year-old sister and her mother experienced a very frightening moment. One of her mother's cousins worked at a McDonald's near where they lived, so she often stays there after school while she waits for her mother to pick her up. One day while she was studying at McDonald's and taking care of her little sister who was playing in the playground, two strange-looking men walked in. One of them suddenly approached the girl and started asking her a bunch of questions, but she was really scared and didn't really answer them. A few minutes later, she looked out to see her sister, but she wasn't there. She quickly got up to look for her and realized that the other man was in the parking lot trying to get her sister into the car while she was kicking and screaming. The girl ran to her mom's cousin and told him to call 911, but the man who was taking her sister gave up when he saw several employees approaching him and left the girl on the ground. If she hadn't acted quickly, she may never have seen her sister again. 5 People Who Beat The System Part 5 At this resort, you're not allowed to have drinks by the pool. So they made a massive straw and left the drink on their balcony. This guy said his name was Mark, spelt with a C. So instead of changing the K to a C, they changed the M to a C. The teacher told them they could only have a one-sided cheat sheet. So this student taped the paper to make both sides one side. This guy's girlfriend told him to wear a plain tie. So he sent her this picture of a tie with planes. Now before I show you the smartest one, I found a really addicting app that lets you create games to play with your friends and also play millions of other games created by other players. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this town wasn't allowed to have a statue so close to the road, so they put a flag in it to make it a flagpole. Seven random facts you'll hear for the first time. The bones of mice are extremely flexible, so much so that they can even fit into the hole of a pen. Stop signs were yellow until they were changed into red in 1954. The defense mechanism for the mimic octopus is insane. It can change color and take on the shape of another animal, like sea snakes, flounders, or lionfish. The hole in the middle of a spaghetti spoon isn't only to drain water. It's also used to measure a portion for one person. The hottest place inhabited by humans is Delol, Ethiopia, where temperatures have reached 49 degrees Celsius. The only letter in the English alphabet that isn't in the periodic table is J. When tea was first marketed, the beverage was placed in hand-sewn cloth bags. The idea was that the consumers would pull the leaves out of the bag, but they didn't know that and used it that way. They were a success and are still used like that. 
These simple objects had a secret from you in plain sight. The marks on the side of coins haven't always been there. In the 18th century, people were saving coins to make new ones, which is clearly illegal. So to stop this, they began engraving the sides to prevent them from being manipulated, which worked. The ring on cans lets people put their cigarettes there, but also if you have a painting that's fallen, because one of the hooks detached, you can screw the ring into the painting and hang it again. Water bottles can be used to create a small greenhouse. Just cut the bottom and you can watch the seed grow. The Orbit chewing gum has a secret hidden in the logo. The round shape of the O has two colors. The light one represents day and the dark one represents night, just like our planet orbiting the sun. And finally, if you place garlic cloves in the microwave for 10 seconds, the husk will separate so you don't have to peel it with your hands. Gadgets that give you superpowers. MYO is a bracelet made by Telmic Labs. It allows you to control your electronics with simple gestures. The sensors detect the movements in your arm muscles, and some of its functions are you can control the volume of your music, you can control drones, and you can also play games without the joystick. If you've ever wanted to throw fire with your hands, you can with the Pyro Mini Flamethrower. You put it on your wrist and it lets you throw sparks, flames, and fireballs. It does this by quickly burning tissue. The exoskeleton is a full bodysuit. It has integrated weapons, it's bulletproof, it increases your mobility and strength by taking the stress off your joints and muscles, which even allows people in wheelchairs to stand up and walk. Here's what would happen if you fell off a cruise ship. In 2018, a British lady was on the Norwegian Star cruise ship when she suddenly fell off the back. As soon as the crew found out about this, they started a search and rescue for her. They also called the authorities, who sent water patrol, an aircraft, and two rescue boats to find her. After 10 hours, they managed to find her and quickly took her to the hospital. The chances of survival are slim, but she has several things in her favor. Because she worked as a flight attendant, so she probably knew what to do in this situation. Even though these accidents aren't very common, they have emergency protocols in place. If there's an eyewitness who can report what happened, the crew notifies the captain who usually stops the ship and backs it up. The authorities and the Coast Guard are then notified, while the crew searches for the spot where the person fell off. If you ever fall overboard, it's important to stay calm, try to stay where you fell, don't drink seawater, and keep your clothes on. Secret places hidden in famous locations part 2. In the Statue of Liberty, there's a small room located inside the torch. But no one can enter it because that part was damaged by the Germans in 1916. And although it was prepared, they don't allow people in it as a safety precaution. Mount Rushmore is famous for the four sculpted faces of previous American presidents. But behind them is a secret vault. Inside are different historical documents. Like the Declaration of Independence, the biography of the sculptor, and the history of the construction of the place. But no one can access them. Inside Big Ben, there's a hidden room by the bell tower. And although it's no longer in use, it used to be used as a prison for people who breached the code of conduct. The Tower of London is one of the most famous fortresses in the world and home to the Yeoman Warders. And underneath it there's a pub that you can only enter if you were invited by one of them. Five photos you'll have to look at twice. At first it looks like one of the thumbs from Spy Kids, but it's actually just a sausage hanging from string in front of a man. At first it looks like this bartender's wearing a dress, but it's actually just a giant mirror on the counter showing the customer. At first it looks like this rock is floating in the air, but it's actually in water and the sky's just reflecting off of it. At first it looks like this guy's a giant on the beach, but he's actually just balancing on a tightrope. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that makes your Snapchat score look like this and your Snap score look like this. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, at first this just looks like a brick wall, but if you look close enough in the middle, you can see a cigar. Now comment below if you've seen the Star Wars character that I hit in the video. The power of time. This is what the barber's floor looks like after walking around the chair every day. This guy had his wallet for so long that his driver license photo imprinted on the plastic. Here's a comparison of the right-handed people and the left-handed people at a school. Here's what 14 years of this cat scratching looks like. This guy's shoe shows the bones in his feet from moving around weight with his foot. The glass globe of this light focused the sunlight enough to burn the sun's path in the grass. The paint on this vehicle wore out because it's the dog's favorite spot. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that lets you remove anything from your photos. Just press the button on my profile to get this wall broke, exposing years of layers of paint. Disney closed this water park and the reason why is scary. In 1976, Disney opened its first water park called Country River. It was one of the most popular attractions at Disney World because it had lots of water rides with slides, rivers, and a lake with a sandy bottom. Since it was located in Bay Lake, Florida, it had a unique water filtration system which kept the water clean. But in 2001, the park mysteriously closed, disappointing a lot of people. Disney announced that it was due to remodeling but years went by and it never reopened. And in 2005, they announced that it would remain closed permanently because they didn't have many visitors. Many people weren't convinced with this explanation nation because there are still tons of people going there. Instead, they believe the reason is due to several fatal accidents that happened over the years. One of them was an 8-year-old boy who was enjoying a ride, an amoeba from the water got in his body through his nose, and it attacked his nervous system which ended up killing him. 5 People Who Beat the System Part 4 This guy had to send in a picture of him in a suit and tie to his work. But he doesn't own one so he photoshopped his face on somebody else's. A mayor in Brazil prohibited bar owners from setting tables on the sidewalk. So their solution was to put them on the back of a truck. At a camp, all the kids had to write a letter home before they ate. So this kid just wrote, I was forced to write this to eat. The students in this class had to pick a Marvel character, then write a resume and cover letter pretending to be them. So this student chose to do Groot and since the only thing he says is I am Groot, that's what he put for everything. Before I show you the smartest kid, I found an app that 
lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press the button on my profile to get it. This boy's mom put a lock on the drawer, so when he's misbehaving, she puts his electronics in it. But she never knew that the boy could take out the top drawer to get to the bottom one. The happiest prisoner on death row. Joe Arity was born in 1915 in Colorado. He eventually entered the state training and home school for the mentally handicapped at the age of 10. At the age of 21, he left school and boarded a freight car and ended up in Wyoming. At the same time, the police were on the lookout for a person guilty of murder and attempted murder on the two sisters, Dorothy and Barbara Drain. While Joe was wandering around, he was stopped by the sheriff, George Carroll, who thought he was a suspect in the crime. After questioning him, the sheriff said he confessed to the crimes and was arrested. Then Frank Aguilar, who worked for the Drain family, confessed to the crime. Barbara, who was the survivor of the attack, confirmed that it was Frank and said that she had never seen Joe. Joe's lawyer tried to obtain a plea of insanity because three psychiatrists said that he had an IQ of 46 and the mind of a six-year-old. Despite this, Joe was wrongfully sentenced to death, and everyone who saw him in jail said that he kept smiling. On the day of his execution, he still couldn't understand what was going on and still had a smile on his face as he entered the gas chamber. Prisoners who escaped prison and were never found. Clarence Anglin, John Anglin, and Frank Morris are the only three prisoners who managed to escape Alcatraz prison in 1962. Because the prison is on an island, they probably died in the icy waters of San Francisco, but their bodies were never found. Sharon Kin murdered three people and was sentenced to life imprisonment in the 1960s. After 13 years in a Mexican prison, she managed to escape thanks to a blackout. To this day, her arrest warrant is one of the longest in US history. John Patrick Hannon and Gwyneth Thomas escaped from the Verne prison in England. They used several knotted sheets to climb over a wall, and within a few hours, Thomas was captured. But Hannon has been free for 66 years and is considered one of the most successful escapees. Secret rooms that people found in their house. Ohio University students thought their house was haunted because their closets kept opening and they were hearing noises. After looking around, they found a room in their basement that led to a secret closet. They found a bed, books, and photographs that belonged to a stranger that was living there that they didn't know. A Reddit user shared a picture of a passageway in their new house. When he entered, he found a locked door that led to a secret room. Inside, he found a briefcase and a safe that had money, watches, and the most terrifying thing was a videotape saying the words, no, no, no. The tape was turned over to the police to try and solve the mystery. Finally, a man noticed some unusual boards in his basement, so he tried moving them and he found a room in his house that he had no clue existed. Inside, it was filled with ammunition and empty gun cases. There was even a grenade, but it was thankfully confirmed to be a dud. The five most illegal products on Pawn Stars. Number one, an antique gun desk. This type of weapon is classed as a novelty weapon because of its low capacity, rarity, and difficulty in finding ammunition. But the one shown on the TV show had one round of ammunition left in it. And to make it legal, you either have to deactivate the device or make it unusable. Number two, a turtle shell guitar. The shells of turtles are made of 60 interconnected bones. They're so strong that they started making guitars out of them until it was illegal. Number three, a German spy camera. It was the first spy camera manufactured by the Minox company and was designed by Walter Zapp in 1936. Number four, Penn State University orange bowl ring. Penn State items are highly wanted, but in this case, the engraving was erased, making it illegal to buy and sell. And number five, a Tyrian shekel coin. Tyre was the most important city in Phoenicia, which is now southern Lebanon. Its coins were given out from 130 BC to 70 AD, and apparently the one taken to the show was stolen. Five people who beat the system. This teenager's parents were gone for five days, so they put a camera in the house. So the kid put the camera towards a picture of the house, so their parents wouldn't know if they have anyone over. This boy's mom told him to go play outside. So what did he do? He brought his computer and played outside. If you park in front of this sign, you have to pay. And if you park behind this sign, you'll get towed away. But they didn't say anything about parking in the middle. On a bonus question, the teacher put, hint, it's not Greenland. So that's what the student put and they got the mark. Now before I show you the smartest person, I found an app that gives you a personalized workout based on your your body type and goals. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person parked in an illegal spot, so they gave themselves a fake ticket so they won't get a real one. Dumb inventions that people actually use. The Hug Me Pillow was designed for people who miss their partners. Its shape stimulates half of the upper back of a human and an arm to cuddle with. One of the sillier inventions that are actually really popular are cutters. They make cutters for avocados, strawberries, bananas, and even boiled eggs. The egg cracker has become really popular. It's a pretty simple machine. You just place the egg inside, press the device, and it cracks the shell. The toothpaste dispenser is something that lots of people didn't know they needed until it came out. You just put your toothbrush in the opening, a little bit of toothpaste comes out, and that's it. The ostrich pillow's design promises that you'll have a very comfortable nap. Basically, you just put your head inside the pillow, and depending on what position you're lying in, you could also put your hands inside. Scammers who got caught in the act. In China, people trying to scam drivers is common. In this video, a man was driving down a narrow road, when suddenly a lady walked into the middle of the road and laid down, and then waits for the vehicle to get close to her so she pretends that she's been hit. But the driver put the car in reverse, then the lady got 
gun off the ground and tried to dent the front of the vehicle then lay back down. If the man didn't have the dash cam, they may have thought he actually hit her. In this video, a man is driving along when suddenly, a car pulls out in front of him and zigzags to try and cause a minor collision. The car then stops and a group of men get out, blocking the driver from continuing. The way the scam works is the men try and get the guy's insurance details so they can claim money from the company for supposedly being hit. But when the driver tells them that they're being recorded, they just walk away and try and find their next victim. Tricks that cops don't want you to know. In lots of countries, police are allowed to tell lies, if necessary, to obtain information they believe may be relevant. You have the right to record as long as you're not under arrest. You can also ask for identification, and they can force you to erase the video without a warrant. The requests an officer makes to you aren't in order. For example, if they don't have a warrant to search your car, then it's within your rights to refuse. But it's better to let them do it if you have nothing to hide, because you'll most likely be detained until they get a warrant. The best thing to do when dealing with the police is to act calmly, because if you're nervous or have a defensive attitude, it'll keep them on their toes and the situation may become more difficult. Finally, police officers may use false evidence to try and trick you into admitting the crime. For example, they may use a fake lie detector on a suspect to try and get them to admit or not admit the crime that they are being charged with. 5 animals that can live after death Chickens can live without their heads as long as their brain stems aren't cut off. Because most of their motor functions aren't controlled by the brain but by the brain stems. Salamanders have the ability to regenerate limbs and organs so they don't die. When they're old enough they could regenerate again and again, even their brain, heart and spinal cord. After a snake loses its head it still has hours to live. So you better stay away from its head because it can still inject you with its venom even after death. Flatworms can rebuild any part of its body after it's cut off. If they're cut in half, the head will rebuild the tail and vice versa resulting in two flatworms. Cockroaches are resistant to radiation and are most likely to survive a nuclear attack. They can live after decapitation for a long time, but since they can't eat, they die of starvation. People who had one job but still failed. This person put up a sign saying give cyclists space but it blocks off the bike lane. This person gave the baker a flash drive with the picture they wanted on the cake. But instead the baker put a picture of the flash drive. On the news they were supposed to blur out the people in the background's faces. But you could still see them perfectly fine in the mirror. This person's job is to cut the grass but they're too lazy to move the pylon. Now before I show you the most funniest one, I found an app that scans your palm and tells you your future. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally this person put a drain in the only spot that doesn't get water. So I guess it's working, right? Yard. A man found a dinosaur bone that was 250 million years old. A couple who bought a house in California found an anti-nuclear bunker from the 1960s. It was built during the Cold War and was 4 meters underground for radiation protection. One man found human bones while doing yard work. He took them for examination and they were determined to be bones from a thousand years ago. A man digging came across a passageway that led to the pyramids of Egypt. He dug around 30 feet down the tunnel and archaeologists confirmed that it was a tunnel leading to Egypt's oldest pyramid. In Iowa, a family found a mammoth femur in 2010. He kept it for 16 years until it was finally examined in 2013. Scientists determined that the bone was approximately 12,000 years old and belonged to a woolly mammoth. Tactics businesses use to trick you. Companies say on their website that there's more people looking at the product or flight ticket that you want to buy to pressure you into buying it before it runs out. But it's usually a fake number that's randomly generated. Sometimes large packages are used to make people think that there's more things inside it than there actually is. So you should always check the total weight of the package and not just look at the size. One of the most popular tactics is the 99 cent effect. Customers would rather buy a product that says it costs 99 cents instead of $1 because they focus on the first number. By saying items are limited in stock or about to run out, create scarcity for the buyer, which makes you buy it faster or want it even more. Ambient lighting and music in a restaurant are used to create feelings in customers depending on what you want to convey. For example, in some fast food places, they can make it noisy to make customers buy and leave quickly to generate more money from future customers. Facts you think are lies but are actually true. The Italian term spaghetti used to name a type of pasta is plural. And if you want to refer to a single piece of pasta in a package, the correct term is spaghettio. Columbus Day is celebrated in the United States on the second Monday of October. But the truth is Columbus never set foot in the United States. Man stepped on the moon before wheeled suitcases were made. Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon in 1969 and suitcases with wheels were created in 1972. Clouds in the sky may look really light, but depending on the size they weigh about a ton. The military uses dogs to detect bombs thanks to their scenting abilities which is really useful for ground operations. But what many people don't know is that the navy trains and uses dolphins to detect bombs at sea and even attack enemy ships. Mysterious photos that can't be explained. In this photo, if you look behind this man's head, you can see a shadow behind him. The face of the shadow belongs to Air Force pilot Freddie Jackson, who had passed away and his funeral had taken place a few hours before. In this photo of students, you can see a hand that doesn't belong to any one of them. And although they thought it was a joke, many people think it was paranormal activity. This photo was taken on a bridge in Oakville, Kentucky. The shadow appears to be of a woman walking, and coincidentally, there's a story that a soldier murdered his wife and child near this location. After a family dinner, Mr. Cooper took this picture to remember, but when they looked at it, they they seen a strange figure hanging from their ceiling. 
crazy ideas that actually worked. In some parts of the world, sunlight doesn't always reach, especially in the winter. So an engineer and an architect placed a giant mirror on the side of the mountain to reflect the sunlight. Alex too, who was a British student, needed money to pay for college. So he created a website with a million blank pixels, each one costing one dollar. On the website, companies could buy a pixel to place their logo and a link to their website. It was really successful and in no time, Alex earned a million dollars. In 2015, scientists discovered that due to the sun, a city's drinking water reservoir was evaporating and had increased levels of bromate, which is from the sun hitting the water and can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. So the solution was simple. They covered the water with millions of non-toxic plastic balls, which gave shade to the water and fixed both problems. Five things you eat that are a lie. Fruit Loops don't have any different flavors. They all taste the same, the only thing that changes is the color. Fortune cookies aren't originally from China. They were created in the United States by a Japanese man named Makoto Hagiwara. But lots of people still argue that he didn't make them. The crab meat you find in sushi is actually an imitation. It's made with finely ground white fish that's shaped, colored, and flavored to look like a crab. Pringles potato chips aren't only made of potatoes. They actually contain less than 50% and the rest is made up with flour and cornstarch. Finally, the double stuffed Oreo cookie cookies aren't actually double stuff. They only have 1.92% more filling than the original cookie. Three people who beat the system part two. A man from Turkey was banned from his hometown soccer stadium for a year, but he said there was a match that was really important. So he had to go to the police station to sign a paper to show that he wouldn't be allowed to watch the game in the stadium. Then right after, he quickly went to rent a crane. It only cost him $86 and he even led the crowd in a chant. A girl's phone was about to die, so she yelled at her mom upstairs to bring her down a charger. The mom decided to put the charger around the dog and told her daughter to call the dog downstairs. Now before I tell you about the smartest kid, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing changing their text messages. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this girl was playing on the computer and didn't want her mom to shut it off. So she placed Legos all over the floor because we all know that it's the most painful thing in the world. Everyone laughed at this guy's house until they seen what was inside. This guy served in the US military as a pilot for almost 30 years. When he retired in his 60s, he bought a small little house in San Francisco, California. But the problem was, almost everyone else in his neighborhood was super rich and pretty much lived in mansions. Because of this, his neighbors refused to speak to him and laughed at him when they seen him. One day, when he was sitting on his front porch, a bunch of rich kids showed up at his house and started making fun of him. At first, he was upset, but then he decided to invite the kids inside. And little did they know, he was hiding the biggest secret in the entire neighborhood. But before before I show you what's inside, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by dragging these stickers onto their text message to change it. Just press the button on my profile to get it. In his basement, there's a full-size flight simulator with millions of dollars. People who got stuck in the strangest places. Jamie Bracken Murphy was a young Irish boy who got stuck in a stuffed animal vending machine. He wanted to grab one of the toys so he went in the machine but couldn't get out. Thankfully it was easy for them to get him out and he was only in there for a couple minutes. A man named Cato Larson got stuck in a toilet while trying to get his friend's phone out. He didn't just reach his hand in, he went all the way in the toilet and he couldn't get out. He couldn't find his phone either to call for help. He stayed there for an hour until he was freed by firefighters who had to break the toilet to get him out. Finally, a woman named Rosie decided to get into a washing machine for a TikTok, but her legs got stuck so she had to call someone for help to get her out. She tried calling her friends first but they couldn't, so she ended up having to get help from the fire department. Here's what would happen if you fell off a cruise ship. In 2018, a British lady was on the Norwegian Star cruise ship when she suddenly fell off the back. As soon as the crew found out about this, they started a search and rescue for her. They also called the authorities, who sent water patrol, an aircraft, and two rescue boats to find her. After 10 hours, they managed to find her and quickly took her to the hospital. The chances of survival are slim, but she has several things in her favor. Because she worked as a flight attendant, so she probably knew what to do in this situation. Even though these accidents aren't very common, they have emergency protocols in place. If there's an eyewitness who can report what happened, the crew notifies the captain who usually stops the ship and backs it up. The authorities and the Coast Guard are then notified while the crew searches for the spot where the person fell off. If you ever fall overboard, it's important to stay calm, try to stay where you fell, don't drink seawater, and keep your clothes on. Three places you should never swim. One of the rivers that you should never set foot in is Bubbly Creek, located in Chicago. In the 1900s, American meatpacking companies drained their waste into this creek, which caused really toxic fumes due to the decomposition of animal organs and blood. Not even a fish could survive in this creek. In Thailand, there's one area that causes concern called the Sam Mason Hole. It's a really deep underwater cave, which causes bad visibility for whoever swims there. So unless you want to get lost in the sea, I don't recommend swimming there. The last place is called the Amazon Basin in South America. It's drained by the Amazon River and has lots of predatory animals like caimans, barracudas, piranhas, and deadly candiru fish, which is attracted by urine and can get into your urinary tract and cause a lot of pain. 
Five everyday things that prove our life is a lie. Mini carrots sold in supermarkets aren't really that size. They're cut to look like that and more noticeable to the eye. Hair doesn't grow thicker if you cut it or shape it. Many people think this because the tip that's left is blunt, which makes it appear to be thicker until it's finished growing. The taste of Coca-Cola changes when it's packaged in cans. The only container that it doesn't change taste is in glass, because it's chemically inert, which means that it doesn't affect the product. The gold medals in the Olympics aren't only made of gold. They're made of pure silver that's plated in gold, so they only actually contain about 1.5 0.34% of gold, which would be equivalent to 6 grams. Finally, for the longest time, people have been using bricks for their walls because it's sturdy, but nowadays companies can make anything look like brick walls. So if it looks like this, it may not be as sturdy as you think. Things that only exist in Japan. They have square watermelons. Farmers use special containers to give them this shape, but they're so expensive that people usually only get them for special occasions. In Japan, there's other Kit Kat flavors, like chili, sweet potato, wasabi, roasted corn, soy, watermelon, or mango. In lots of buildings, there's parking for umbrellas, which are similar to those of bicycles. In their traffic lights, they have a blue light instead of a green. There's a canned food restaurant chain. In some places, there are no number four. For example, some buildings don't have a fourth floor, and some stores don't sell items that come in fours. Their toilets are high tech. Some of the functions are a heated seat, spraying warm water, and even playing music. Their cabs have automatic doors for passengers. And finally, they have capsule hotels, which are rooms that only have a bed and a TV fake beggars who got caught. A man in Colombia pretended to have a leg injury so people would give him money. He collected about $200 from people driving by, but one day the police offered to help him with medical equipment but he refused. So they looked into it and it turns out he was lying. A beggar in China pretended to have two legs amputated. He moved around in this little vehicle where he crawled with his hands. But one day a man took off his pants to expose him and it turned out he had both legs. Five years ago a pregnant woman from America who begged for money every day on the streets with her child was caught after someone taking a picture of her driving a Mercedes Benz and while she counted the money with a smile on her face. The most painful things humans can experience. Childbirth is one of the most intense and painful things a woman can experience. This is due to the pain caused by the contraction of muscles and the pressure caused by the fetus. Women who have gone through this say it feels like very intense cramping. Kidney stones can be caused by drinking too little water, exercising too much or too little, obesity, weight loss surgery, or eating foods with too much salt or sugar. The stones are made of minerals and salts that form in your kidneys. Kidney stones start to hurt when it blocks your urine from traveling to your bladder from your kidneys. Of all the types of headaches, cluster headache is the worst. Only 1% of the world suffers from them, and the people who have experienced it say it's a piercing, sudden, and intense pain. Finally, shingles is a viral infection that causes burning in your skin that appears as blisters, which contain pus or blood. Dark secrets that zoos don't want you to know. Zoo pens are a possible source of salmonella, E. coli, and many other diseases. So be careful when touching the animals. Some animals can suffer from zoonosis, which they get from being held in a zoo that causes them to tick, groom excessively, and make them anxious. And to control it, they give them medication. When zoos have too many animals in very little space, they give them pills to prevent them from having babies, or they sacrifice them at birth. The food given to animals isn't always the best. In many cases, they're given processed foods, and animals like tigers who only eat meat develop dental problems and become anxious because they can't hunt. Fine. Finally, it's 50 times more expensive to keep an elephant in a zoo than to let it run free. Homeowners who spent a fortune just for revenge. A couple that was in the process of a divorce in the 1920s made an agreement where the husband had to build a house for her that was identical to the house they were living in, but she didn't specify the place where she wanted it. So the man had it built in a saltwater marsh that was in the middle of nowhere. In a Seattle neighborhood, neighbors got into an argument about a small plot of land. The owner of the land was approached by his neighbor who offered him a small amount of money for the land so he could grow a garden. For some reason, the landowner was so offended that he built a house. In the end, the neighbor moved because the house of Constructed his view. In Argentina, Corinna Cavana was rejected from her partner's mother, so in revenge she set out to build a house that would obstruct the view of the Basilica of the Blessed Sacrament from the home of the family that rejected her. This man swam in a cave but never returned, and a few years later the police found out the shocking truth. After going through financial difficulty and being $50,000 in debt, Ben McDonald needed an escape from reality. He decided to go explore the caves at a nearby park called Vortex Spring. Even though a certificate was required to go cave diving, he jumped in the water in the restricted zone anyway, and two of the park employees seen him go into it, but he wasn't spotted at his house for the next two days. His truck was still parked outside of the park with his wallet in it, and none of his neighbors had seen him. The local authorities began a search and rescue in the entire park, but after weeks of searching they still hadn't found anything. So they called an expert cave diver named Ed Sorensen. The police were sure he would find his body because he was diving deeper than they had gone before. But he couldn't find anything and the case was classed as an unsolved mystery. Until a few years later when a park employee was mysteriously murdered. Apparently he had heard information about Ben's disappearance which was actually a murder. The reason why none of Ben's remains were found is because they were removed from the crime scene. And the two park employees were paid by someone to leave before Ben returned to the surface. Many people believe he was killed because he got into illegal activity trying to pay off his debt.
The most brutal military drills. South Korea's elite army has to go into freezing water that's minus 30 degrees for training. And for 9 days they have to do combat training in the snow at extreme temperatures. In North Korea, the training's also brutal. One of their daily activities is to hit a piece of wood wrapped in rope 5,000 times and hit blocks of salt with their bleeding fists to make the muscles in their hands stronger. Part of the Chinese army training consists of wooden sticks being smashed on their backs, concrete blocks bursting in their arms, plates being broke over their heads, and being hit in the head and stomach with a hammer. Finally, military members from different countries have participated in this training exercise where they have to drink snake blood and eat live animals. This training is a survival course for them to learn how to survive in extreme conditions. Three times Google Maps saved lives. In 2016, three sailors were shipwrecked and had to swim to a deserted island. They had the idea to write the word help in the sand with rocks and palm leaves. After three days, a person using Google Satellite saw the word and they were finally rescued by the US Navy. In 2017, Austin Mohanan went hiking, but he soon realized that he was lost. He hiked through the forest for 11 days. That's when he thought he could maybe get a GPS signal. So he tried Google Maps and it worked. Then he followed it to a town where he went to a hospital and was treated for exhaustion and dehydration. And finally, in 2006, David Lee disappeared with his car. But then in 2017, someone was searching for a pond on Google Maps when they seen something unusual. It was David's car submerged into the pond with him still in it. Unfortunately, in this case, Google Maps didn't save a life, but it was able to give closure to the family that was still looking for him. The craziest things found by airport security. In an Amsterdam airport, 200 bags of tarantulas were found. In 2015, a child was found in a suitcase that belonged to a 19-year-old girl traveling from Morocco to Spain. A couple from India were arrested at the airport for smuggling small bars of pure gold that they glued to their feet. At Shanghai airport, they opened a suitcase that contained live snakes. And in total, there was 121 of them. Two women were arrested at Liverpool airport for attempting to transport the body of a dead relative in a wheelchair. And finally, a tiger cub was found in the suitcase of a Thai woman traveling to Iran. She tried to make them think it was a stuffed animal because there were other stuffed animals in the suitcase. But in the end, the woman was arrested and the tiger was taken for special care. Here's how they did the biggest bank heist in the world. 25 robbers started by renting a property about a block away from a central bank in Brazil. Then they started digging a tunnel to the basement of the bank. They knew there would be a lot of dirt, so they faked being a landscaping company by putting up signs, renting a van with an ad on it, and even introducing their business to the neighbors. They then dug a 260 foot tunnel to the bank that even had air conditioning and lights. When they got there, they broke through a vault that had 70 million American dollars. They brought it back to the rental property, then transported it away in getaway cars. The next day, one of them decided to buy 10 cars with cash, which set off an obvious alarm so the owner called the police and he was arrested. He ended up telling the police a few people's names who were involved and they were arrested too. But in the end, the police only retrieved $8 million and some of them are still on the loose. The scariest booby traps in the world. Punji sticks were one of the most famous booby traps used in the Vietnam War. It was made out of bamboo sticks with a sharp point at the end, which were placed in deep holes that they camouflaged so nobody could see them. The goal is that the enemy would fall into the pit and the punji sticks would pierce them. Cartridge traps, also known as toe poppers, were bullet cartridges that were placed inside a bamboo tube and a nail which they camouflaged into the ground with the tip protruding. When stepped on, the pressure of the bullet caused it to fall on the nail, igniting the primer and exploding. Finally, when the Germans were retreating from the cities of Europe, they made sure to place expensive works of art with explosives that would go off with the slightest movement. The trick was to leave the painting slightly tilted so that when they were straightened, they would explode. This lady got handed a creepy note on the train and you won't believe what it said. In September of 2017, around 5 p.m., she was on the public transit bus coming home from work when someone from behind her handed her a note written in red ink that said, there are two guns pointed at you now. If you want to live, hand back your phone and wallet now. It also told her not to turn around until after she got off the train. She looked in front of her and couldn't see anyone pointing a gun, but she was getting close to her stop so she had to decide what to do. She could take the chance that no one had any weapons or she could hand them her phone and wallet. When all of a sudden she got an idea, she pretended to have a seizure and fell over into the middle of the bus. A couple rushed over to her and she slipped them the note. They read it and realized what was actually going on. Then the person who gave her the note realized this and got off the bus at the next stop. There was actually no weapons, it was just a scam to get some money. Five animals that can kill themselves. Sometimes the horns of rams and goats grow so curved and big that they penetrate their skull causing their death. Horses and donkeys can suffer from abnormal growth in their hooves. If their hooves aren't trimmed, they can no longer walk because of the pain causing them to die from starvation. When turtles fall on their back, it's really hard for them to roll back over. When this happens, they usually die from too much sun, starvation, or attacks from another animal. During mating season, deers get into such aggressive fights with each other that their antlers get stuck together to the point where they can't be untied. When this happens and no one can separate them, the deer die because they're they're unable to eat. Finally, the deer pig is famous for its two upper tusks. The growth becomes so uncontrollable that it pierces the upper part of their jaw. And in some cases, when they're really big, they could pierce their skull, causing their death. 
This cop went undercover in a wheelchair to catch thieves. In Vancouver, Canada, the rate of street crimes were rising. Thieves would target people in wheelchairs because it's easier for them to escape. And unfortunately, sometimes they wouldn't just steal from them, but also hurt them. So Sergeant Mark Hosley decided to run an undercover operation. The year before this operation, 28 people in wheelchairs were robbed, and seven of them were physically attacked. The sergeant grew a beard and changed his overall appearance. He also sat in a wheelchair with expensive items to attract the thieves, then went downtown Vancouver to see if someone would rob him so he could arrest them. The operation lasted for 20 days, and in that time he had many people give him food and money, even people who the police had suspected to be robbers before warned him to keep his expensive items away. In the end, even though they didn't catch anyone, they said it was a success, because the story went viral and now thieves are scared that they might rob an undercover cop. Sneaky ways airports get you to spend more money. The first thing they do is put the parking ticket at a high price. It's cheaper if you park at a nearby hotel or get a ride by a bus or cab. They also ask you to arrive early to avoid missing your flight. So after checking in and going through security, you'll feel relieved and ready to wait for boarding. And you'll also have plenty of free time to shop. Airports take advantage of this by placing lots of stores in your way, like coffee shops, convenience stores, and restaurants. Most commonly, more stores will be on your right, because most people are right-handed and they tend to look that way more often. Finally, you'll find eye-catching and spacious stores to attract your attention, so you can walk right through with your luggage, while restaurants and cafes will have a quiet atmosphere to make you feel more comfortable and spend more money. This boy said he got a pencil stuck in his ear, but it turned out to be something much worse. This boy went to the hospital with his grandma after saying he snapped the pencil in his ear. Apparently he was playing in it with his ear when it accidentally snapped off. While the doctor was trying to find something in his ear with a camera, he asked the boy to describe it. And the boy said it was just a small piece. The doctor wanted to remove it as soon as possible, because leaving it in his ear for too long could cause an infection or even death. But when the doctor was pulling it out, he realized the boy was lying about what was actually in his ear. Instead of pulling out part of a pencil, he pulled out a watch battery. The doctor also said he couldn't see his eardrum anymore because the battery made a hole in it. But luckily they regrow and it should be back to normal within six weeks. Photos with disturbing backstories. This photo was taken in 1986, just before NASA sent these seven explorers into space on the Space Shuttle Challenger. However, a few seconds before takeoff, the shuttle exploded and killed the explorers. To this day, it's unknown if Princess Diana died from an accident or if someone planned it. This photo was taken in Paris just before the crash that caused her death. In 2015, this plane from TransAsia Airways crashed in Taiwan minutes after this photo was taken. The plane was carrying 58 passengers and ended up crashing into the Keelung River. The pilot said he pulled back the throttle on the wrong side and accidentally shut off the only working engine. This error resulted in 43 deaths and 15 injuries. This photo was taken in Thailand in 2004, right before an earthquake caused a tsunami that reached 100 feet high and more than 200,000 people died. Things you didn't know about Squid Game. The symbols on the soldiers' masks were inspired by the organization of ant colonies, therefore dividing them into a circle for the workers, a triangle for the soldiers, and a square for the people in charge. The phone number they used on the invitations card to the game belonged to a real business. When the series became popular, thousands of people started phoning that number and asking to join the game. So to solve this, Netflix had to edit the number. The players never realized that the games they would be playing were in front of their eyes the whole time. Each game was painted in order on the wall of the bedroom. The stairs that led the players to the game room and back were inspired by the artwork of a Dutch artist named MC Esther. They actually used 456 people to film the first game, since they didn't want to use a computer-generated image. Finally, the script for Squid Game was created in 2008, but was rejected by several producers before being accepted by Netflix two decades later. Here's how to become the world's first trillionaire. The competition to be the richest person in the world right now has been in between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, but this could change in the future because of an industry that hasn't yet been started, which is asteroid mining. Gold, silver, palladium, platinum, and much more can be extracted from asteroids between Mars and Jupiter. For example, the asteroid 16 Psyche has enough supply of ferro-nickel for the whole world to last for millions of years. The person who starts this industry will make money like never seen before without even traveling that far, because there's valuable asteroids close to Earth, like the 162,173 right which is estimated at 83 billion dollars. So far no one's been able to pull it off because taking things to space is really expensive. And the most important question is how are they going to extract the metals from the asteroids? Secrets hidden in national monuments. The Lincoln Memorial was unveiled on May 30th, 1922. It was created to honor the memory of the 16th president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. This monument hides two secrets. The first is a spelling error that can be seen in the inscriptions on the north wall. If you look closely at the word future, you can see a smudge on the letter F because the sculptor accidentally put an E instead of an F. The second is that underneath there's a huge basement full of stalagmites and graffiti from 1914. The Washington Monument is a popular place for tourists who go to see the capital of the United States. But something that not a lot of people know is that there's a small replica close to the real one. While the real monument measures 169 meters, the replica is only 3.6 meters. The name of the replica is Benchmark A and was created to be a geodetic control point for surveyors to ensure that maps are as accurate as possible.
She found out he was cheating on her, but she waited until their wedding day to get revenge. Casey and Alex from Australia had been together for six years, and everyone, including both of their parents, were in favor for their wedding. But the night before, while Casey was hanging out with her bridesmaid at the hotel, she got an anonymous text message. There's a bunch of screenshots that showed conversations between Alex and another woman, and there's even pictures of them together. She looked at the dates and they ranged from a few months ago to a few days ago. When she showed her friends, they threatened to hurt him and told her to cancel the wedding. She thought about all her family members who had spent money to come to the wedding, so she decided to go through with it. While her and Alex were standing in front of their friends and family, she grabbed the mic and said there will be no wedding today. Then she pulled out her phone and read the text messages to everyone. Alex had nothing to say and he ran off with his best man following him. This couple waited 9 years to open their wedding gift but when they finally did it changed their lives forever. Kathy and Brendan got a gift from their friend but she told them not to open it until they got into their first fight. Over the years they had many fights and it even got to the point where they considered getting a divorce. But each time they would eventually end up resolving it so they wouldn't have to open the gift. She said if it wasn't for the gift they wouldn't still be together because it taught them to be patient and understand each other before caving in and opening it. But one day they decided to finally open it and you won't believe what they found inside of it. But before I tell you I found this app that tells you your celebrity look like and apparently I look like Zach King. Just press the button on my profile to try it for yourself and let me know in the comments who you get. In the gifts they found wine glasses, cash, and two notes. One note was for Kathy and it said to buy pizza with the cash and get a bath ready for both of them. The other note was for Brendan and it said to buy flowers and a bottle of wine. Here's how a vending machine actually works. When you place a coin in the machine, light sensors determine the size and electromagnets detect the metal type to identify the coins then source them into columns. And if it's a fake it goes into the reject chute. When it needs to give change it releases one coin carefully at a time into the chute. When you press a key, a computer orders one of the 32 motors to turn the spiral 360 degrees. Then as the snack falls, it hits a line of 10 infrared beams. If nothing crosses the beams, then the computer orders the coils to turn another 360 degrees until something does. Three tricks Walmart doesn't want you to know. Have you ever been at the store and someone asks you if you want to try a free sample or a new product? Well, a scientist said when you take the free sample, it makes your brain think it's dinner time, making you want to buy it. They sometimes put items on sale to make you think like you're getting a better deal. When in reality, they put the sale price as what they would normally sell it for as retail. You may think they just throw products on the shelves randomly, but they actually do it strategically. The top shelf has smaller brands, regional brands, and gourmet brands. They put them there to give tone and texture to the shelf, to help the store stand out from its competitors. The two shelves below are where they put the top selling brand, because it's at the customer's eye level giving them a higher chance of buying it. Below that are the kids shelves, where they usually place child appealing items making the kids want to ask their parents if they could buy it. And finally on the very bottom they have the local brands and bulk items. This guy didn't do any work in a group project so his partner got the ultimate revenge. The girl in the group needed 50% or better to pass the class and graduate, so she calculated that if she got 0% on the project she would still pass. Since her partner didn't want to fail the class, he would call her every once in a while to see how she was doing. The girl kept saying she was almost done it when in reality she hadn't even started it. The day before it was due, he called her to ask her if she could send him the presentation. She sent him an empty powerpoint then shut off her phone so he couldn't call her. The day of the presentation he was nervous, but the girl reassured him by saying she would do everything. When they got up to present to the class she said I already had a good enough grade to pass the class and since my partner decided not to do any work I decided to take the day off. He ended up having to go to summer school but he didn't pass so he has to take his senior year all over again. Dark secrets you didn't know about SeaWorld. SeaWorld is home to orcas who were kidnapped from the ocean but the stories they tell about their captures are way different from what actually happened. For example one of the stories they tell is that one of the orcas which they named Tilikum was rescued when she was two years old because she was injured in the ocean but the truth is that she was taken away from her natural habitat against her will and given to SeaWorld for exhibition. The dolphins in the park suffer from stress caused by the contact they have with humans which prevents them from feeding, resting, and taking care of their babies. Even though this information is supported by studies done at the University of Newcastle, they continue to let the public touch them. Finally, all the animals suffer from terrible consequences from overcrowding and unnatural living conditions. For example, the whales live in spaces that would be equivalent to us living in a bathtub, which doesn't allow them to swim enough to stay healthy. And you could tell by their collapsed dorsal fins. But SeaWorld claims that it's a natural condition. This 15 year old is allergic to air and here's how she survives. One morning Martina Baker woke up with red itchy dots all over her body. Then she suddenly got a swollen throat. Her symptoms kept going away then coming right back for weeks. Her parents kept bringing her to the hospital but they couldn't figure out what was happening to her. So they then took her to an immunologist who diagnosed her with mast cell activation syndrome which causes her to be allergic to anything in the air that isn't oxygen including perfume, smoke, heat, water and a bunch of other things. She takes medication every day and also carries EpiPens just in case. She didn't go outside often but when she did she had to wear a mask and this was before everyone else had to wear a mask so she was bullied. Then her mom heard about a service dog program. The dogs are trained to smell the air then warn the owners to stop walking forwards. They decided to get one and now whenever the dog senses that she'll get an allergic reaction it will start giving her kisses on the cheek to warn her. 
The voice is behind three of the most popular cartoons. SpongeBob SquarePants made Nickelodeon $12 billion. The voice actor for SpongeBob is Tom Kenny, who also voiced the mayor in Powerpuff Girls, Dog and Cat Dog, Spiral the Dragon, The Ice King from Adventure Time, and more. Patrick is played by William Mart Fagerbacke, who is in the sitcom Coach, and also How I Met Your Mother. In the movie Moana, Ollie E. Cravello said she wasn't going to audition because she's seen so many good auditions on YouTube. Then someone finally convinced her. She was the last to audition and she got the part. Maui is played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He said he based the part on his father because Maui was very similar to him. Finally, in Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket Raccoon is voiced by Academy Award winner Bradley Cooper. I'm gonna kill you! And his sidekick Groot is voiced by Vin Diesel from the Fast and Furious series. I am Here's how they caught Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy was an American serial killer. He used his ability to talk in a polite manner to pass off as a quiet guy. Although the police had witnesses saying they seen a man with his characteristics in the same places where a woman had gone missing. They didn't find a killer. But then a sketch of Ted Bundy was released and after this, the police received tons of calls saying they identified the killer. And finally in 1975, the police arrested Ted for a traffic violation. He raised the police's suspicion when he wanted to leave. But they stopped him and when they checked his car, they found questionable objects like crowbars, ski masks with holes for the eyes, handcuffs, and a lot more. He was then arrested a year later later for an attempted kidnapping and sentenced to 15 years in prison. And months later, he was charged with the murder of Karen Campbell. In prison, he wasn't tied up, so he jumped out of the window of a library and escaped. He was captured a week later, but within months, he escaped again. He committed more murders both times he escaped, including a 12-year-old girl named Kimberly Leach. In 1979, he went on trial for the murders he committed at a sorority house. He was convicted and sentenced to death in the electric chair. After a bunch of appeals, he was electrocuted in 1989 and pronounced dead. But before his execution, he confessed to a bunch of murders, and it's believed that he may have committed over 50 Three animals that you'll be glad are extinct. First off, we have the Gigantophithecus blackie, which is the largest ape that ever lived. It was almost 10 foot tall and weighed over 1,100 pounds. It also walked on its fists. But surprisingly, it didn't eat meat, but would still protect itself from its predators, which included tigers, leopards, and bears. The Bielsey Buffalo Ampinga was a large frog that was 40 centimeters tall and weighed almost 10 pounds. Instead of eating flies and small bugs, it would lie hidden until lizards or young dinosaurs approached, then it would snap them up with their enormous jaws. And lastly, we have the Brontaurus burmistri, which was the largest carnivorous bird ever at 10 feet tall, also weighing around 1,000 pounds with massive claws. It was also as quick as a cheetah, and its kick was hard enough to shatter a bone. The strangest last meal requests on death row. Ricky Ray Rector killed a man in a restaurant then ran away. Three days later, he agreed to turn himself in, but then he shot the police officer in the back. His last meal included steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and a slice of pie. But he didn't even touch the pie. And when they asked him why, he said he was saving it for later. Peter J. Mignel robbed and murdered a 20-year-old by stabbing him 39 times. For his meal, he requested 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, two double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, half a chocolate cake, half a vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, caramel fudge ice cream, a small fruit cake, two Coca-Colas, two Pepsis, two root beers, and two orange juices. Finally, we have Velma Barfield, who killed a total of six people. And all she wanted for her last meal was a bag of cheesy doodles and a can of Coke. This missing six-year-old was found alive behind a staircase. Paisley Schultes was reported missing when she was four years old in New York in 2019. In 2021, the police got a tip from someone to search a house. And when they got there, this is what they found. After going up and down the stairs many times, a detective felt something was off. So he looked a little closer in between the cracks of the staircase and saw a blanket. Inside was the girl and her mother hiding. The police said that the girl was abducted by her parents after they found out that they were going to give the girl to a new guardian. When the police were driving the girl, she got all excited and asked if that was a McDonald's. Then the officer said yes. She said she remembered loving McDonald's but she hadn't gone there in a long time. So the officer immediately turned around to go get her some McDonald's. This boy was scared of the dark so he slept with his goldfish. One night, Cory and Tori Hamlin tucked their son into bed, read him a nighttime story, then went to the living room to watch TV. A little while later, they heard a noise coming from their son's room. So Tori yelled to see if he was okay. And he said it was just his dresser making noise so his parents weren't concerned. A little while later, his mom went to check on him before she went to bed. And she seen a chair pushed against his dresser and his fishbowl was on the ground. But the fish was nowhere to be seen. She looked everywhere until she finally found it. She said it was so extraordinary that she had to take a picture. When she woke him up, he was sad because he didn't realize that he had killed the fish. The next day, his parents explained to him what had happened. He was still really sad, but he asked his parents if they could get another one. And he said he would never touch a fish again unless they were fishing. His parents agreed because they wanted to give him a second chance to learn from his mistake. 
Miracles people claim to have caught on tape. On Route 385 in Memphis, Tennessee, a driver lost control of his Jeep and went off the road. The car was immediately engulfed with flames. The driver escaped unharmed, but the curious thing is that police found a Bible that was untouched by the fire. It was perfectly fine even though the car was almost in ashes. In the Philippines, a little girl woke up at her funeral. Apparently she was ill and had a high fever which caused her to go into a coma. But the doctors didn't know that and declared her dead the day before her funeral. But luckily her relatives found out in time. Pralad Yani was a Hindu ascetic who claimed he hadn't eaten or drank anything in over 70 years. Specialists in the scientific department put him in hospital for 15 days under 24 hour supervision and claimed he hadn't eaten or drank anything in those 15 days. According to the man, this can be achieved by meditation and a divine blessing. This man thought he was using a rock as a doorstop, but you won't believe what it actually is. In 1988, David Muzrik was looking for a farm to buy. He found one that interested him, so he went to take a look at it. As the property owner gave him a tour, out of everything in the house, he was most intrigued by a rock that was being used as a doorstopper. The owner said that one night when he was a kid, he saw it fall from the sky. So in the morning, him and his dad went to get it. But there's no proof, so he just had to go with what the owner said. He decided to buy the property and kept using it as a doorstopper. His kids even brought it to school for show and tell. But in 2018, lots of people people found small meteorites in their backyard of Michigan, and they were turning them in for a lot of money. So David thought about how much he could get for his big one, but he didn't know if it was real or not. So he found someone to examine it, and they found out that it contained 88% iron, but also 12% nickel which is mostly found in meteorites. It turned out to be the 6th largest meteorite in Michigan, but he still hasn't decided whether he wants to sell it or not. This guy found 45 rattlesnakes under his house and you won't believe what he did with them. In 2019, a man started having problems with his cable service. He wanted to see if he could fix the problem himself. So he crawled into his crawl space to see if he could find a loose wire. But then he noticed a couple rattlesnakes, which are fairly common in Texas. But their venom can cause nausea, sweating, blurred vision, and even death. So being in an enclosed area with them isn't the best idea. But it got a lot worse when he noticed there wasn't just two snakes, but 45 of them. He immediately got out of there and called Big Country Snake Removal. They then came to his house and took them all out into buckets. The man lived around 40 minutes away from Sweetwater which is famous for a rattlesnake roundup. They round up over 250,000 rattlesnakes in plastic bins before butchering them. Some people say it helps with rattlesnake awareness where other people say it should be bad. The festival organizers pay $10 per pound of snakes so he could have made around $2,700. But instead he chose to have them delivered to a quiet place and released back into the wilderness. This family adopted a baby and here's how they found her special talent. 8,000 miles away from them in China, a baby was found in a shoebox outside of a train station. The baby was then transported to an orphanage. When the walkers saw pictures of the baby, they instantly fell in love and flew to China to adopt her. When they got home with their new baby, the little girl was amazed by their grandfather clock. Every time it struck the hour, the little girl would sing with the clock. And her parents were shocked because every time her pitch was perfect. That's when her parents realized she was naturally gifted. And as she grew up, they took her to music classes. She was even asked to sing the national anthem at a Houston Astros baseball game. A Grammy nominated producer heard her singing and offered her a recording contract. She agreed and had her debut album called Simple Gifts recorded in Asheville. This man got locked in a grocery store. Kevin Blackwood got locked in an Aldi's grocery store after it closed. So I had to call 911 because the alarm is activated and I can't get out. But it wasn't his fault because the cashier closed the store 15 minutes early and didn't check to see if there's anyone else still in the store. I just got locked in at Aldi and they don't close till like nine o'clock. It was probably one of the best places to be locked in because there's a ton of food. I don't have to worry about starving to death because there's plenty of food. But eventually the cops arrived and they unlocked the doors. Three rejected Shark Tank pitches that made millions. First off, we have the Ring Doorbell. So if you don't know what it is, it's a doorbell that has a camera on it. And whenever it detects motion or someone rings the doorbell, it sends a notification to your phone, where you can then go onto the app and see them or even talk to them. When Jamie Siminoff appeared on the show, the company was worth $7 million. Now the company doesn't just make doorbells, but they also make home security systems and a bunch more. Amazon gave them $1 billion to have their items on their website. The Books is an online flower delivery service. In 2014, they left Shark Tank without an investor. But three Three years later, one of the sharks needed flowers for his wedding and ended up using the service. After that, he ended up investing in them. And in 2017, they sold $1 million of flowers in just one day. Finally, the bed jet is placed under your covers and allows you to change the temperature, rather than changing it for your whole house, which costs more money. But since he had no sales, all the sharks were out. When he released it to the market, he sold $3 million worth in his first month. This lady refused to tip the waiter but didn't realize what she left on the table. Armando dropped off two slices of pizza for a lady and a child at their table. Then the lady questioned him on why there is only a few pictures of women on the wall. Since he was just a waiter at the restaurant and had no clue, he jokingly said that maybe women just don't eat pizza much. A few minutes later, he went to check on them but they were gone. The lady had left the restaurant without paying and she left him a handwritten note that said, maybe women don't tip, too. He felt bad because he didn't realize that his joke had offended her. Then he saw an envelope on the table that had Citibank 
he'd written on it. So he ran outside to give it back to her, but he couldn't find her. He saw that inside it, it had a check for $424,000. Since he's an honest man, he didn't cash it and he handed it to his boss. They then tracked her down through the newspaper. Apparently she had that money because she had just sold her house. She apologized to Armando and offered him money for finding it, but he declined. The owner also explained to her that she had missed the wall with lots of pictures of women on it too. Prisoners who escaped prison and were never found. Clarence Anglin, John Anglin, and Frank Morris are the only three prisoners who managed to escape Alcatraz prison in 1962. Because the prison is on an island, they probably died in the icy waters of San Francisco, but their bodies were never found. Sharon Kin murdered three people and was sentenced to life imprisonment in the 1960s. After 13 years in a Mexican prison, she managed to escape thanks to a blackout. To this day, her arrest warrant is one of the longest in U.S. history. John Patrick Hannon and Gwyneth Thomas escaped from the Verne prison in England. They used several knotted sheets to climb over a wall, and within a few hours Thomas was captured, but Hannon has been free for 66 years and is considered one of the most successful escapees. No one came to his birthday party so Chuck E. Cheese did this. It was Evan's fourth birthday and he celebrated in Chuck E. Cheese. His mom prepared a bunch of candy, a birthday cake, big balloons, and a bunch more. She also sent out 30 invitations to his friends. Evan was so excited so they left early to play games with his friends before the party. He was the first one to get there so he waited at the door for his friends to arrive. He waited for a long time but no one showed up. One of the workers had to go to the bathroom to avoid crying because of how bad she felt for the boy. Evan and his parents decided to just go home. After a couple of days the same worker posted on Facebook asking if anyone would be willing to give Evan a present. Within three to four days she had over a dozen presents to give to him. She contacted Evan's mom and said that the store had a surprise for Evan. So they drove over and she surprised Evan with all the presents. The worker said that seeing Evan smile was the only thing she wanted that day. People who survived the impossible. On April 5th, 2015, Victoria Celiers went parachuting. She had gone many times before, so she had lots of experience. But her husband, Emil, sabotaged her parachute without her knowing. She fell 4,000 feet before hitting the ground going 60 miles per hour. In most cases, that would be fatal, but luckily, she hit a soft part of the field that had just been plowed. So she ended up surviving but was badly injured. The police later found out that her husband was seeing two other ladies, and he had promised one of them that he would leave his wife and take her life insurance money for the two of them after her death. They also found out that he had tried to murder her a week before they went parachuting as well. He opened a gas valve in the kitchen while she was sleeping, then went to his ex-wife's house to sleep. Luckily, she woke up and smelled the gas in time to prevent anything bad from happening. Her husband, Emil, was then sentenced to life in prison. These inspectors found 110 violations at a restaurant called China Buffet. When the interviewers got there, they found steak lying on the ground, and the sink where they cleaned dishes looked like this. Just a few things that the inspectors found were six live roaches near a food prep table, a bunch of different meats laying out and not in the freezer, the dishwasher wasn't sanitizing, there was mold everywhere, an employee was smoking in the food prep area, a bathroom in the kitchen had sewage all over the floor which made the whole place stink, and that's just six of the 110 violations. When they asked the restaurant owner a few questions, this this is what he had to say. No cameras. No cameras what? Don't, first of all, don't That's touch. Assault. First of all, first of all, don't touch the camera. Don't touch the camera. Don't touch the camera. Don't touch Don't touch my camera. If you see a cookie under your doormat, call the police immediately. When a burglar finds a house to target, they start by watching the owner to find out information about the routine to figure out the best time to enter the house. One of the tactics they use to gather information is so simple you wouldn't think twice about it. But next time you hear a crunch under your shoe while entering your house, stop and check what it is because if it's a cookie, you're in trouble. This is a tactic burglars use to see if you're gone on a trip or what time you come home every day. Since it's a cookie, people usually don't think too much about it and may even think it's a leaf or a bug. But if the burglar checks on the cookie and it hasn't been broken in a couple days, then they know you're gone on a trip and will break into your house. He built a secret home in the corner of the mall and lived there for four years before being discovered. While Providence Place Mall was under construction, Michael Townsend, who's an American artist, was running around the site when he noticed a section that made no sense. It was an opening between two walls that led to a space too small to be a store and too angular to be part of the parking lot. But he continued on his run. Four years later, him and his friends were forced to leave the place that they were living because it was going to be destroyed and replaced with a parking lot. Because of this, he got an idea and remembered the space that he had seen years ago. That's when him and his friends got to work and cleaned up the space. They decorated it and took a electricity from the mall for a TV and video games. The only thing they didn't have is a bathroom, but they were caught four years later, and they all went to trial for trespassing and many other charges, but the judge made the decision to let them go on probation. Here's the only way to survive a zombie apocalypse. The first thing you want to do is get as far away from cities as possible. Because even though it'll have lots of food and supplies, soon enough you'd be surrounded by thousands of zombies. From what the movies have showed us, zombies are terrible swimmers, so getting on a boat will probably be the safest way to get away from zombies. But if there's no water nearby, then you'll want to run to the hills. Because zombies will have a hard time getting up there, and once you're there, find a building made out of concrete, brick, or metal. Because anything weaker like wood can easily be torn down by a horde of zombies. But you won't be able to stay there forever because you'll need food. So make a suit out of anything you could find, like hockey 
pads, gloves, and a helmet. Once you're there, you want to gather enough food and water to last you for a few weeks. But now, when you go to leave the supermarket, there's tons of zombies waiting for you outside. And before I tell you what to do next, I found this super fun zombie apocalypse game called State of Survival. They're even giving away a brand new Lamborghini, and all you have to do to enter is reach level 5. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, in order to leave the supermarket, you either need to hide until they all leave or make a distraction. But if both of those fail, you'll have to camouflage yourself in with them. So you'll have to get some zombie flesh or guts, then rub it all over you to make you smell like them. Then they'll let you walk right past them. How KFC was made from a gas station recipe. When Harlan Sanders was six years old, his father passed away, so his mother had to work while he took care of his siblings. In 1930, he got offered a job at the Shell Oil Company to manage a gas station. He quickly got the idea to make more money by making food for drivers passing through the gas station. His food, especially his fried chicken, became very famous. He came up with a technique to reduce the cooking time of the chicken, and also experimented with different spices until he got the flavor that he wanted. He then called it the secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. In 1950, he had to sell his place because of the construction of a new highway which decreased his customers, which decreased his sales, leaving him in debt. After this, he got the great idea to create the franchise Kentucky Fried Chicken. He drove around the country selling his recipe and preparation technique to different companies in exchange for four cents per one chicken sold. By 1963, there are more than 600 franchises throughout United States and Canada. And finally, when he was 73 years old, he sold his franchise to an investment group for what would be over $14 million today. The place where murder is legal. The specific area is in Yellowstone National Park. Unlike any other district, the District of Wyoming includes land from other states. So if someone was caught for murder in that area, they would be brought to Cheyenne, which is the main court in Wyoming, because the crime technically happened in Wyoming. But in the United States Constitution, it says, the trial shall be held in the state where the crime was committed. So if they invoke their rights to having a trial in Idaho, it will force the court to bring them back there. But it also says that the jury who gives a verdict in a case based on the evidence has to be from the same state and district of where the crime was committed. But the thing is, no one lives there. These customers bought out a donut store so the owner can take care of his sick wife. This is what the store looked like at 5 in the morning. The line was already going out the door. All of the customers are there to show their support by buying as many donuts as they can so the owner can leave early to take care of his wife who's recovering from a brain aneurysm. Yeah, I bought uh, three dozen. Yeah, I came in the other day and bought 300. When this lady named Jonah got there, all of the donuts were sold out and it was only 7 in the morning. But instead of being mad, she was really happy. Because growing up, she also had a family business. So she was happy that people were there to show support for a local business. Here's how they caught Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy was an American serial killer. He used his ability to talk in a polite manner to pass off as a quiet guy. Although the police had witnesses saying they seen a man with his characteristics in the same places where a woman had gone missing. They didn't find a killer. But then a sketch of Ted Bundy was released and after this, the police received tons of calls saying they identified the killer. And finally in 1975, the police arrested Ted for a traffic violation. He raised the police's suspicion when he wanted to leave. But they stopped him and when they checked his car, they found questionable objects like crowbars, ski masks with holes for the eyes, handcuffs, and a lot more. He was then arrested a year later later for an attempted kidnapping and sentenced to 15 years in prison. And months later, he was charged with the murder of Karen Campbell. In prison, he wasn't tied up, so he jumped out of the window of a library and escaped. He was captured a week later, but within months, he escaped again. He committed more murders both times he escaped, including a 12-year-old girl named Kimberly Leach. In 1979, he went on trial for the murders he committed at a sorority house. He was convicted and sentenced to death in the electric chair. After a bunch of appeals, he was electrocuted in 1989 and pronounced dead. But before his execution, he confessed to a bunch of murders, and it's believed that he may have committed over 50. 